No, I know. That's that's I know that's what I'm going to be telling them. Grogu, look, I know. Like I know, right? Okay, so yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, I'll tell them today. Don't worry. Oh, oh, hey everybody. <laughs> Grogu's just telling me all about how he's picking up secret rare comic books. He's got an account that you would not believe. And I'll have to show Grogu's account one day by like no, you don't want me to show your account? No, no. He he likes to keep things private, everybody. You should see how many secret rares that Grogu has. It is crazy. And okay, I won't tell anybody about it. Jeez. Ugh. Grogu, look, look, look. You you got you gotta make sure you're not so upset all the time. Uh, you know, he's he's a handful, this guy, to live with. Grogu, okay. Just go over there. It's all right. You can chime in later. You know, just send me. He wants to say hi though. There you go. Hi, everybody. It's Grogu. <laughs> okay i'll tell them okay i'll just i'll put you back over here there you go you can hang out right there i'll tell them i'll tell them hey everybody how's it going <laughs> yeah grogu he always lets me know what you know, what to do what to talk about that's where i get all my uh info from is him like he's got the force he tells me right he's like that's where i get all my strategies from he's a smart kid over there that kid <laughs> how's everybody doing today <laughs> Oh my God, I mean, we got some comic rewards to give out today. This is great. Happy Saturday, by the way. Good to see you again. Sorry, I didn't do a live stream on Wednesday. That's normally when I do it, but my son had his, uh, his um, uh, like a little ceremony to go to on Wednesday. So the whole day I was, I was out, I was pumping out videos all week anyway, but, uh, but so I haven't done my live stream since my birthday stream, which was on Sunday. So thank you so much, everybody who came out to that. That was a lot of fun last Sunday. Uh, for my birthday. That was a, a hoot. I had a great time. I just wanted to spend some time with all you guys. So that's really great, right? So I appreciate you guys coming out for that. But today we got some cool stuff to do. We're going to talk about a whole bunch of things. And I'll, you know, I'll 
see if you guys got questions for me too, for sure. And we'll go into the chat, but we got our comic rewards, right? So this is our comic club. And we also have our, our other one, which is our, which is our eco club rewards, which is the Omi rewards. So both I'll explain both just now, because this is when we do it on Saturday morning. So we're going to do this right away. Uh, this is, it's, it's the morning over here, this Saturday morning here, wherever you are. I hope you're having a good day and a good evening and all that stuff or a good morning as well. So, you know, I'll, I'll get to the chat and we can see where everybody's from. But anyway, so what we do every Saturday for the rest of the year, and then we'll adjust the program depending on like, you know, how many entries we have is for the comic rewards, any drop head owner that has a drop head with this, uh, you know, the blind box logo right here on them you get entered one spot into our weekly comic rewards. So I'm giving away re in real life comic books, you know, and we just mail them out. And it's a, you know, it's like um, the more of these that you own, the more spots you get in the draw. And the same thing goes on with the eco rewards. In case you don't know, if you have a drop head that has what I call the eco logo, right? We're sending out only tokens, right? So it's 7,000 a week. You know, and then there's also bonus ones because we did another, we did 2000 Omi like on my Discord they, just the other day. And it's for holders of this particular version of drop heads. And I will have more utility for other drop heads as well. So stay tuned. You also get an entry if you have a crown, but those sold out like <laughs> right away, right? So you can still get some blind box ones. But anyway, that's how it works. So I'm going to do that right now before we get uh, into the whole chat and everything. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be fun. I do a random number generator. So if I scroll down on the comics, I'll show you really quick. So this is the master list that it keeps getting added to every day and every week. Right now, there's 154 entries on this, right? So that's really cool. So that's 154 drop heads owned with this logo. And each one goes here. So if you get one, your name goes there. And there's a number beside your name, right? Like right here, you can see, you know, like Brave Vivi Heart right here has got like, uh, you know, uh, five or six or seven in a row. You can see. And, uh, you know, every time you get a new one, there's Poppy right there with tons, <laughs> right? Every time you get a new one, uh, it just basically gets added to the list, right? And then if that number comes up on the random generator, you win that, you get that reward, right? That comic reward, right? So I'll do that in just a minute. I'll do three random draws and then we'll see who wins. And then I'll post it up, up in Discord. You don't have to be at the live stream to, to get your reward, it's just, we just do it on the live stream because it's fun, right? And these are the comics. Uh, so today I'll, I'll, I'll show who they are. Then I'll post it later, right? Uh, but these are the comics. And by the way, if somebody doesn't have, if I can't mail the comic to you because your address is somewhere that I can't mail to, unfortunately, like with Poppy, one of my awesomest members, Poppy, we know we love you. For some reason, Canada Post won't let me mail to his address. So if you if he wins, he gets an NFT, uh, you know, comic from Vivi later when we can do transfers. So I just keep note of it. So he won, he won one last week because he's got tons of spots. So that's how it works. So no matter what you get one, but this is the first comic that's going out. And this is detective comics, you know, number 433 from 1973. Right. And this is a killer smog storyline. It's really cool cover. So I actually have them right here, right? Like I got all three comics right here, you know, <laughs> yeah, I got all three comics right here. They're actually really nice comics, right? And as the, the rewards get bigger and the more people join, as we get close to the end of the year, the, 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 the comics are going to get better and better and better. And at the end of the year, I'm going to have a couple of big draws for like some really, really nice comics, right? So, <laughs> and then here's the second comic we're doing, this beautiful Daredevil comic, which is from 1983. First appearance of a character called Willow. And uh, not a big character yet or anything like that, but it's still a beautiful comic. I love this one. So that one's the second one that's going out today to, and rewards. And then this one right here is my favorite one. And this is actually the uh, Ghost Rider number 81 from 1983. So this is the final issue of his original series, right? So you got the first appearance VV one in the app. And if, you know, somebody here today is going to get this final appearance, like final uh, version final issue of his original run from 1983 which is really cool right so that's pretty fun if you're one of the omi reward uh sorry one of the drop head uh, uh comic rewards uh holders right so then i'm also just right after that gonna do the eco reward program for the for the drop heads who have the you know uh eco logo i call it which is like that like omi logo this goes all the way to the end of the year as well we're gonna do like over 150 or 200 000 omi so there's the list right here. Same exact thing as the comic. 
and we've already sent out 32,000 OMI and it's just going to keep climbing because it's every week. And then I usually do a giveaway during the midweek on discord and stuff like that as well. And so we're going to give out 7,000 more OMI today. Same exact thing, right? So let's get to the blind box one right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do the random uh, number generator right here. Okay. And uh, this is just housework, house cleaning and fun stuff that we're going to do. <laughs> So I get up the random generator on screen and uh, let me just share this right here so everyone can see it. And this only takes a few minutes, but it's a lot of fun, right? So we have exactly 154 entries so far. So let me just clear this out right here. Bang, I clear that to one. And then we go one, five, four. Now, just so you know, um, if you become a member of my channel, right, I think it's a dollar a month. You do get a free drop head, right? And I will send it to you. And it could be one of these. So if you're not a member of the channel, just join up. And then, you know, you get a free drop head. I just send it to you for being a member. That's how you get in. That's how the whole point is, right? And then you can go on OpenSea and buy them too if you want. Um, the floor just actually doubled. The, they, they, they just doubled in value as of a couple days ago. And I think we're at top 200 in the world now. So we're doing really good, right? So here's first one right here. So this is number 118. So I'm going to write that in. Okay. So let's write that in for, we're doing the comics, right? So this is number 118. Okay. <clears throat> and the second one we're going to do is number six. Wow. Okay. Number six. That's pretty cool. And I'll show you the winners in just a sec. And then the third one is number 105. So you can see anyone's in those positions wins, wins these uh, comic books, right? Okay. So that's cool. So we can stop that screen right there. And then we'll go right here into the comic book screen. So this should be pretty fun. Let's go. We got it right here. Okay. So we got 118, number six, and 105. Okay. So let's see who's in the 118 position right here. And it is Mr. Tong Man. Okay, Mr. Tong Man, you just won the first comic. All right. So I don't know if you're in the chat or not, but congrats to you. So there we go. Mr. Tong, man, you just got rewarded that one. So I'll, you know, you're on Discord. You send me your address. Okay, so the second winner was number six. Okay, number six is Sun Eater. Okay, Sun Eater, you're in that spot, number six. So that's cool. So you get that one today. Um, there we go, Sun Eater. And that's the Daredevil comic, okay? So Mr. Tong, man, you won, you won the Batman. And Sun Eater, you won the Daredevil. Now, who gets... Who gets the Ghost Rider? This is an awesome comic. And I'm going to have bigger, bigger comics as we go along, everybody. You know, some graded ones and stuff. It's going to get really fun in here the, as, as the year goes on. This is only the second week I'm doing this, right? So it's brand new. So let's go. Number 105 goes to Zombie Attack News. Nice. And look at that. That's cool because Zombie Attack News has got one single spot in there and then he's got a couple. So you, all you need is one spot to win, right? So there we go. So zombie attack, you get this one. Zombie attack news, <laughs> which I love the name, right? So let's go. So comic number one. All right. Went to Mr. Tong, man. There we go. You can see him right here. Mr. Tong, man. Comic number two went to uh, Sun Eater. There you go, Sun Eater. Okay, that's this one right here. Sun Eater. And then we have Zombie Attack News wins. And it's kind of funny because Red Skulls, I mean, sorry, the uh, Ghost Rider's got the skull. So it's kind of funny with the Zombie Attack. <laughs> there we go. So there you go, guys. There, Those are our comic book reward winners for the week. So we'll, I'll post this up on Discord and then you give me your addresses and I'll just mail these out to you, right? And that's how it works, everybody. That's going to be how we're doing it every week. Now, let's switch over to the Omi Club sorry, the eco club. Now this is for Omi tokens. And like I said, we've already sent out 32,000. I've only been doing this for a couple of weeks and this is going all the way till the end of the year. And then at the end of the year, we have a couple of big, big Omi reward prizes. So, you know, this is really fun, right? If you want to get involved in this as well, you just got to own one of the drop heads with the, with the uh, eco logo. So there's 234 entries on this one, right? So let's just clear this out right here. Let's just regenerate. Okay. So I'll show you this. I like, I want to do this on screen so everybody knows that this is legit, that I'm just doing my um, random generator here. So like I said, we got 234 entries as of this morning, right? So I'm sure we'll get more for next week. So let's generate one. We got number 221. Okay, there's one. That's for the 1,000 OMI, 221. Okay, and then we got, let's do another one here. This is for another 1,000. So this is number 129. 
So, and I'll show you guys in a sec who wins 129. And then uh, for the last one here, this is for 5,000. This is number 166. Okay. There we go. 166. Okay. So that's cool. So we did those three. You saw them right here. Let's remove that. And I'll go and let's see who won the Omi. And then I just send it to you. Like I just send it to your wallet, right? So here we go. So number 221 wins 1,000 Omi today. So let's go to the thing. And this is one of our new ones. There we go. Uh, SR Phoenix 221. You just won. Nice. So you just you just got these drop heads recently, right? So that's cool. So let's just write this in right here. SR uh, Phoenix with three with I think three eyes, I believe. So you just won the 1,000 Omi. Okay, that's great. You just got a reward on that. Oh, that's the comic stuff. Okay, so now we got number 129. So let's see who gets 129 position. Uh, let's see right here. 129 is Harry Balzonja. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that name on uh, on air here? Am I allowed to say that name? Harry ba Harry Balz Balzonja. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Come on now. Come on now. Harry Balls on Jack. Very creative name there. Very creative name. Okay. And number 166 wins the, this is, oh, I keep clicking over to the, uh, okay. So this is for the 5,000. So number uh, 166, is that the number here again? Hold on a sec. 166. And that goes to uh, eight. Angel, Angel uh, 001, Angel 001. How you doing? There you go. So that's cool, right? So we got Angel 001. So there you go, everybody. There you go. That that's the rewards for for this week. So th those will go out on uh, my my Discord server as well, right? So that's pretty fun. So there you go, everybody. So like I said, go to my Discord. You can check it out. And if you want to get in on these rewards, everybody, it's every Saturday we're doing it, and there's stuff throughout the week as well, right? So that's cool. So thanks everybody for joining on that, and that's pretty fun. So now we can get to the chat now that we got uh the fun stuff like that out of the way right that's pretty fun <laughs> and thanks so much for joining those everybody and like i said um i will have more utility for my other drop head logos at some point in the future here i'm adding them all the time it's just fun and we're gonna have a good time with it right and so um you know you can get involved i think we're up to like uh yeah, well, we're in the top 200 in the world right now, which is really fun because people are really having fun with them. So I, I recommend you guys do the same. Have some fun. Get in here. <laughs> so let's get to the chat, everybody. This is my favorite thing is to say hi to everybody. How's your Saturday uh, doing? What are you guys doing? What are you looking at? That's what I want to know. And uh, I'm just going to close this really quick here. Hold on. I got to get my next thing up right here to talk about. Okay. Uh, where are we? Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's it's still up. Okay. Come on now. Let's get this up. Okay. <laughs> I want to share something with you guys. So I'm on a rampage lately, right? Here are my secret rares, everybody. So I don't, I know I don't have as many as like a lot of people do, right? There's people who have tons, you know, but I got, I got up to like, uh, I think 34 now. And, uh, you know, I'm having a lot of fun. These secret rares are just, you know, they're just, they're just so scarce. They're just the best for me. And some of the prices right now are great. And there's ones I want to get to, ones I haven't gotten yet that I will get. So, you know, these are going to be really, I mean, like secret rare comics, everybody. <laughs> they're so scarce. So here's mine. I'll leave that up screen on screen right there just for fun. Just, uh, just to show you guys, right? How you doing, Bob Sales? Good to see you too. Everybody check out Bob Sales channel. Uh, very cool making vids. I love it. It's great. We, everybody should get involved in that. We got Bones B. How you doing? William Pear Tree. How you doing? Good to see you too. You just got, got involved too on our channel. That's great. Good to see you here. Double Quill. I just sent your drop head over. So hopefully you love that and enjoy that. Blinky Blink. There you go, my friend. <laughs> Bones B. Yesterday was a good day. I was finally able to compete my set and buy R2D2. Nice. He was finally within reach. Congratulations. That's incredible right there. You just got R2. Nicely done, Bones. So you got the set now, right? So that's good. I want to know what everybody's buying now. Like, what are you doing this weekend? Are you waiting for drops next week? Are you buying stuff? Let me know, right? 
There you go. Yeah, congrats to Bones B. That's cool. Big Gucci Sween. Uh, MC Family Dropheads. How are we all doing today? Happy Canada Day and happy 4th to my fellow Americans. Yeah, guys, so we had Canada Day yesterday, which is like, you know, July 1st, in case you didn't know. So I went out to the lake and stuff, and we had some fun, had a bit of a barbecue. And so, yeah, uh, uh, the, the Independence Day on the 4th of July is a fun day, too. So, you know, I hope you guys have a great day with that, too. Uh, American friends down there. Love the video and design of the channel. Thanks so much, William. I appreciate that. Metaverse Mango, how you doing? Good to see you. Surreal Wonder, good morning to you as well. Kili Kala from Hawaii, how you doing? I hope you're having a great day out there in Hawaii. I'd love to be there too. <laughs> Williams from England, nice to see you. Hey, everybody, let us know where you're from too, right? Because this is like an international stream right here. Beats 96, oh, the song. Yeah, oh, the intro song. Yeah, it's good fun. It's good fun. I appreciate that. Mihail's all the way from Romania. Good to see you too. Thanks for coming. That's awesome. Double Quill. There we go. San Diego Comic-Con. Now this is going to be big, everybody. Like I said, San Diego Comic-Con is, uh, <laughs> I mean, it is an absolute monster, okay? And uh, <clears throat> I'll just bring something up about the San Diego Comic-Con right here. Okay, hold on one sec. Because we're going to talk about this for a little bit as well, right? What's coming up? And uh, what potentially this could mean for our stuff. It's always potential. You know, it's always, you never really know, right? You never really know what's going on with like, you know, the market and how things are going to go. But we can always make predictions, right? We can definitely do that. So let's go right here. This is a little blip from my Don't Sell Your Secret Rares video. I don't know if you guys saw that video, right? But, uh, you know, that, 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 yeah, that's just my opinion, right? But here's San Diego Comic-Con information. So, it's like the first time, basically, um, the first big one since 2019. And uh, like we already know this stuff pretty much. You know, VD is partnering with Marvel, right? Like Marvel, right? And they're going to be, I don't know what they're going to be. Are they going to be sitting at the, ta at the table with them? Or is there going to be a big show? I mean, are we going to get like a big drop that weekend? I think we probably are, obviously. It makes complete sense. We're going to get some exclusive stuff. Some airdrops, maybe some new comic book collectors are hopefully going to join the app. That's going to be crazy, right? And just so you know, uh, there's like over 130,000 people that go to this thing, and they're all comic collectors and cosplayers and you know pop culture fanatics because this this um, you know this is a this is the biggest. It's the biggest. Like they have Guinness Book of World Records for how big this convention is. It's the biggest, it's the best. And they usually drop tons of announcements too, like Marvel shows and, you know, new stuff that's coming, right? They usually drop them there. And it, it goes beyond comic books. I mean, they have like, like, you know, Star Wars fandoms and all sorts of other fandoms and anime and all sorts of crazy and toys, like physical toys. If you go on eBay the day of San Diego Comic-Con, you will see a flood of exclusive like toys, Funko Pops, all sorts of stuff start showing up because you can only get that stuff at the convention, right? So I would predict that VB is going to drop a few things like that too. They're going to drop some promo codes. I mean, it's going to be pretty crazy, right? So I'm looking forward to that, right? And so I think, like I said, the new users will want comic books. When they come from the San Diego Comic-Con, if they download the app, if we get, you know, if we get this big guy over here, <laughs> they're going to come, right? They're going to download the app to get a chance at Amazing Fantasy. It makes m the perfect sense. Now, I don't know if we're going to get it. We don't know. I mean, this it's just, I'm just predicting, right? That we might get this journey into mystery next week. So that's pretty crazy too, right? So there we go, VV Arcade. How you doing today? Go check out VV Arcade's channel. I'm loving your videos too, man. Making some great stuff. Super fun. We had you on our live stream, I think last week, and it was super fun to talk to you, right? You know, we got Killy, yeah, Killy Cow. No chili peppers. No chili peppers in the chat. <laughs> they've been banned from this channel right chili peppers no yo yo how you doing dude good to see you zombie attack news so zombie attack news you won today congrats to you send me your address and i'll get that comic out to you right so that's pretty cool and then display it proudly ghost rider's final comic of his first run uh super cool right uh crypto king there you go snatched up 16 young avengers yeah so the young avengers comic guys is pretty crazy right let's let's stop that screen right there Let's take a quick look at that comic. Now, full disclosure for me, I don't actually own any copies of that comic just yet. Okay. And it's not because I don't think it's a great comic or anything like that. I just don't own any of it yet because I've been, you know, going after all sorts of other stuff at the moment. 
But let's take a look at that comic. It's, it should be right here. Here's the Young Avengers right here. Check it out. Young Avengers number one. So there's a lot of things going on in this comic, as I'm sure you probably know. Let's go. It's up to, it's around 550 to six, which is actually really good for a comic that has a thousand listings, right? So it's not bad. You know, that's the common. So in here, it says the first appearance of Hulkling and Wiccan, a mysterious group of heroes and all that stuff, right? But there's a whole bunch of other first appearances in here as well, right? You know, so like this comic is quite, is quite, could be quite important. It could be quite important as time goes on. And if we want to check it out really quick, uh, I always like to, uh, you know, let's, let's go to eBay, right? Let's go to eBay right here. Okay. So we got uh, Young Avengers number one. Oh, not Avembers. Avengers. There you go. Let's just check eBay just for fun. We can just check some of the pricing on it. Okay. So here's a, here's a basic copy for 160 bucks right here. Canadian. This is Canadian currency. Okay. Uh, but we can look at it. It'll show how much it is in US dollars and other ones. But check it out right here. Just right at the top. Now, people on eBay are calling this the first appearance of Kate Bishop and Iron Lad. They don't, they're not talking about Hulkling and uh, um, what, what's the other guy they, they said this in here? Um, um, uh, Wiccan. They're not talking about them. They're talking about Kate Bishop and Iron Lad. Okay. So those are the more important characters that are actually in this comic book. So, you know, it, it's important for those reasons too, right? So you can see it, there's a 9.8. So you can, you can go up on eBay right now. You can pick one up for about $6.99 US. This particular one just showed up on eBay and it's got four offers already that have already come into it, right? So people are like, you know, it's a, it's a, nice, it's a nice comic, right? Really quickly back to the search results. This is the more important thing you want to do. If, you know, I know they're different. We're in different things here. Like you can't compare the price exactly because, you know, but go to solds right here and you can see the solds. And let's just see what, um, let's just see right here. We got uh, Young Avengers number one. Let's see the, the last one that sold right here. We have to scroll down a little bit. Let's just see the first. Okay, so this 9.6 sold on July the 1st. So yesterday for about 380. Okay, that's Canadian. So check it out. That goes for about 299 US. So about 299. That's the last sold. That's a, that's a 9.6. So that's that's actually, you know, that's actually, you know, not that valuable, but it's coming, right? It's coming. So this is a real speculation book, everybody. Just so you know, it's not established yet. And these characters have to come to the MCU. These characters have to like get involved somehow. And then it'll really take off. But people are buying it up for speculation, which is cool. So I will be grabbing some of these as well. And the secret rare right here is going for about 180 to 190. So that's that's actually really, really nice. Like that's actually really like impressive that people have put that much attention into this book right off the bat. Cause I was expecting this one to be around a hundred or so, maybe 120. You know, that's what I was thinking, like what, you know, because people maybe wouldn't know, but it's got a really cool cover. And there's a lot of first appearances and it's getting some attention. So that's fantastic. I love it. I love it. So congrats, Crypto King. Did you get all, all commons on that? Or what are you, what are you uh, clicking? What are you, what are you going after? Midnight, how you doing from Holland? Good to see you too. Thanks so much for coming. Yo-Yo's from Holland. How you doing? Good to see you too. Pride 2, just 320 gems, 325 gems. Yeah, the, so Pride 2 had that. Had that, you know, drop where it was like, you know, didn't really work out so well. And then I believe they fixed it, right? So, you know, you just wait a day or two. The same thing happened with Thor. I mean, his eyes weren't even in his head. Remember that? <laughs> his eyes weren't even there. We're still waiting for them to fix Lenectra. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, Pride had some issues. But, you know, like, I, I believe they fixed it now. It took like a day, like less than a day. So hopefully in next time, this is a good learning experience for people. And it's a good learning experience for VV2. If something comes out and it doesn't quite look like the, the, the images on the drop, okay, um, then expect it to get fixed. So don't sell it right away. Just wait. Just wait a day because it doesn't take them long, obviously. And, you know, they, you know, they, they generally will fix them. So I would, if, I, if I got that one on the drop or if I bought one, I would just wait a day. Like, just give it a day, you know, or two. And just my opinion, do whatever you want, but... You know, um, now you can actually pick it up for that good price right there. And I'm trying, I, I'd like to get a pride number two, for sure. That would be cool. I'd like to get a pride one. <laughs> Bria and Vivi Hart, good morning, afternoon. Good luck on the giveaways. Yeah, you, yeah, good. I believe, yeah, we just had a good, we just showed them. So go back and watch, right? So Bria and Vivi Hart, Matt Johnson, there you go. 
Oh, you're waiting for Amazing Fantasy 15, aren't we all, right? Aren't we all? I mean, we are all waiting for this bad boy. We're all waiting for this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is going to cause a massive pump, too. This, this, this comic is going to be absolutely huge because people are going to come for it. This, this comic brings a ton of news and attention. And just like if they did Action Comics 1 with Superman or, you know, if they did Detective Comics, you know, with Batman or any of those major, major, massive grails, this comic would bring a lot of attention, right? So I don't know how, I can't wait that long. I have to get stuff now before the comic collectors are here once this, if this comic gets dropped, because now's the time for me. So I can't, I can't wait for this comic. Like I will go after this comic like a madman, like everybody. But I'm not waiting until it drops to spend. Like, I have to buy stuff now. That's why I'm going after uh, secret rares and all sorts of stuff like that. Lilypad Gaming, good uh, evening from Bonnie, Scotland. Nice to see you. Thanks so much for coming. Mr. Broadcast is in the house. He Nan who's in the house. How you doing? How's everything going in Hawaii? <laughs> I'm sure it's good. <laughs> Matt, how you doing? Any thoughts on Young Avengers 1? Yeah, I think we just chatted about that. So I just got to that. It's a potential modern day grill. Yeah, it could be, right? So they have to put them in the movies and stuff. They have to do cool things with them. And they have to have the characters like, you know, people have to like them. So they have to do well on the actors and the writing. Now, I have no, I have no like worries about that because Marvel is like top notch when it comes to these kind of things. You know, even the movies that aren't, you know, as big as the other movies, you know, like the Shang Chi's and things like that, which I thought was a really good movie. They still do really great with them, right? And so... You know, I have no worries about what they're going to do with the with Young Avengers and Kate Bishop. She's pretty cool. Now, now she's in this comic, right? Kate Bishop. She's in that comic too. I should probably hide this because people probably think that Amazing Fantasy is here. If I have that up on screen, they'll be like, "Oh my god, <laughs> it's actually here." <laughs> it's not here yet, everybody. So yeah, so this comic right here, like I said, it's got Kate Bishop in there and Iron Lad. So it's it, there's a lot of first appearances, but like I said. It's only in like, like, here's what I always say about comics and, and not just comics. Cause we can talk about the uh, collectibles in the app too. Cause hopefully we get some of these characters as like, you know, collectibles. Cause I would love that as well. Like we just got Loki and he's great. Right. But like I said, grails don't start out as grails. They, they become grails. You know, we use grails a lot, the word grails a lot, but you know, the comics become grails over time. They don't just get printed and then they're a grail usually. Right. In this day and age, it can happen, though, with giant releases. And like, say they did, you know, they can time it like really smartly and they make a comic that everyone's going after. You know, that's brand new. Right. With no mystery around it. But most of the time, you know, in my experience, right, comic books, it takes time for them to become grails like over time. So uh, and that's cool. So you want to get if you could get them before. And like, that would be great. And this is the NFT version. So, you know, there's only so many secret rares to go around of this comic that will ever exist. So, you know, think about that, right? So I shouldn't be talking about it because I don't have the secret rare yet. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one to get. Yeah, people like it right now. It's good to get. But like I said, you know, it's very speculative. And uh, but that's what comic collecting is all about. You either go after the the, the tried, uh, tried and true proven, you know, grails and like comics, or you go after speculation and you, you get comics that, you know, could go up to those levels, right? Some of them do, some of them never do, right? This one could, right? And it looks like it has good potential. It, the one thing good about it that it's got going is all the FAs, but it also the good thing about it is that the art is really good. Like the art on this comic is rad, like it's super nice. So, you know, like that helps us in the app, right? So that's pretty cool. Can't wait to see which comic promos come out. Yeah, I know, right? We'll see what happens, Marvelous Pax. I mean, they can drop exclusives that day, right? They can do all sorts of crazy stuff, right? So, Blade McCracken, good evening from Germany. Good to see you. Thanks for coming today. Dedicated Savage with the crown uh, drop head with the skull. So, Dedicated Savage, you know that your crown gets you in the, uh, the Omi rewards and the comic book rewards, right? So just in case you, I don't remember if you've, if you've actually entered into it on my discord, but make sure you do if you haven't, right? Cause the crown gets you into everything. That's the, that's the top one in the app. It's like the drop heads version of, um, Walt. <laughs> well, maybe not at that level, everybody let's, let's not get excited. Olex, good to see you today. Yeah. Uh, uh, there we go. We got, um, oh yeah. VVRK reacting to zombie winning. There you go. Congratulations to the winners. Thanks. Yeah. I'm just catching up to the chat. 
There we go. Nick Bachelor, uh, F.A. Woody is a bargain right now for 90. I think him as a mini grail. Toy Story. Yeah, Toy Story people. Yeah, I know, right? Like he is. He's, you know, he's really great. You know, you got to love uh, Woody, but there's a lot of him right now. So that's going to hurt him until we get more users, right? So you can see it all. Like the, That's why I'm focused more on the really limited stuff because of the users we have right now. Um, and because we can get them cheaper, as soon as we have more users and more Toy Story people, of course, Woody is an FA on the blockchain or whatever is 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 amazing, right? And as soon as we get Buzz Lightyear, the actual guy, um, that's going to be really fun too because we will get him. We'll get him, obviously, right? Uh, Doctor Strange, yeah, wishing good luck to everybody. There we go to the Drophead winners. Uh, how can I join the list for the giveaways? I own a Drophead, so Scotty Z in our Discord. You know, we can get onto the list that way. You just have to own the right uh, drop head at the moment for these two um, rewards. But any drop head you own, they're going to have rewards in the future. So just, you know, just get on our Discord. And if you're not there, just DM me and I'll send you the link, right? Jordan C, how you doing? Good to see you today. Double Cool bought a drop, a drop box drop head to go with my freebie. Yeah, awesome, Double Cool. So you'll be in. So all week long, we'll have, um, there'll be other giveaways too on Discord. It's all on my Discord server. There we go. Dedicated Savage. There you go. VV Viking. Good to see you too, my friend. Awesome to see you. Reese. Reese says, I have one secret rare and 34 rares. Nice. Is this of the Young Avengers? Good for you, man. That is nice. Uh, Risto Guy, what collectible would you buy right now? I personally would buy up Loki myself. Now, I don't own Loki. Like, I don't own like a stack of them, right? So I have that one. And I would own Loki. I, I would probably buy a bunch at the price that he's at. Just me, right? Because he's about 8,000 of them. It's an FA. And, um, you know, so he doesn't have like 15 to 20,000 of them, like like Woody and others, right? Unfortunately, right? So he's got some decent numbers on him. And that's a collectible I would buy right now as well. And I'm looking at a couple. I don't, I'm not a massive fan of the Marvel Mighties, but I like some of them. Like I would look at Dr. Doom. That's another one I would look at right now. If you're, if you don't have a Marvel Mighty and you want to get an FA, he would be great to get. <laughs> I mean, I mean, think about that. I think he's about 350 or something like that. We can check him out in the thing right here. If we go to the market, we go to the brands and uh, let's just go to the Mighties really quickly here. Um, down to the Marvel Mighties. Okay. So you can see Loki right here. Let's scroll down on him. Where is he here? There's 340 of him. So there's there's 10 less of him today than there was yesterday. So people are slowly buying him. He's about 20 gems. So he's really nice, right? You pick one up, you stash him away. You're good to go, right? And in fact, I'll actually buy this one right here. Let's go past the 88. I'll take your Loki right there. There you go. Okay, good. I got my Loki with a 2100 mint. I just throw another one in there. Why not? So now let's go back to the uh, market. I'll go to brands. Let's go to the Mighties. Now, this is the other one that I'm looking to try to get to because I've never owned him. I want Dr. Doom for sure. 374 to 39. Look, the floor is pretty thin on him. So I'll probably try to get a Dr. Doom at some point pretty soon because this is his FA, right? So, I mean, I'm not predicting it to go to the moon or anything like that anytime soon. But, you know, he's coming to the MCU. We just don't know when, but he'll he'll be he'll be in the MCU. And it's Dr. Doom anyway. So I can match him up with my uh, Fantastic Four or Five Secret Rare. And that would be a nice little matchup, you know, just like if you get the Loki, you can match him up with the first appearance journey in the mystery comic book, right? Which some people are actually trying to match the mints too, which is really cool. I, I haven't been able to get that close, but some people will be able to try to ma match the mints on those, right? So you can do that too. So those are ones that I would buy at the moment. Now there's so many good collectibles. Like it really depends on what your focus is, focus is on, right? So we got Sven in the house. How you doing? Ah, the secret rare collection. See reels, thank you so much. It's actually for me like not that impressive. I really want it to be. I need some of the bigger ones, and I'm trying to work my way up on my secret rare. So, so this is what I did in, uh, you know, in 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 the in IRL, right, in the real world, in real life with my vintage toys. So what I did about 15 years ago, 15 to 20 years ago, I was getting into vintage toys, vintage Star Wars toys, right? So I had to start small. I had to start at the cheaper ones, right? And which is this, I'm doing the same strategy in Vivi, okay? This is what I'm doing in Vivi. And it's the same strategy I did in vintage toys. So when I started collecting vintage toys, I had to start small. I was buying, you know, like, you know, vintage Star Wars stuff and, and some other toys from the 80s because that's when I grew up was in the 80s. 
And um, so, you know, I was going after the Star Wars toys and I was buying them off eBay and at like toy fairs and things like that. And I was picking up all these like little characters, like, you know, not the main ones like the Darth Vader's and all that, because they were expensive still, even at that point. But I was picking up all the smaller ones and then I was like flipping them on eBay. Right. I was like stacking them up. I would buy lots of them, big groups of them. And I would like, you know, of, 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 and, then, and then as I slowly over the years, I was able to slowly work my way up to the big grail Star Wars toys, like the vintage ones, you know, like the, the first 12, you know, like the Boba Fett's and all that stuff, like still in the package. Like, so I have now a mat, like I, have, I, I got to that level. It took a long time, it took like five, six years, you know, and I had patience because it was fun, right? Like I was doing that. So I'm actually doing the exact same thing in Vivi. It's just my collecting strategy. What I do is I stack up all the ones that are good and new and, and like good characters and like comics and collectibles, things like that. And then I, you know, I have them appreciate and then I slowly sell them here and there and I keep the best ones, you know, the good mint numbers for sure for long term. And then I work my way up to the big stuff because you could just, I could have been any time on eBay back in those days, uh, just gone on to eBay and bought the biggest one for the highest price that it was at the time. I could have just done that, which I could do it in VV right now. I could go into the market and I could go to the top secret rares and I could like, you know, well, I don't know if I could get to that level, but I could, you know, anybody can go just buy one. Right. But I want to work my way up and try to get my, get, get it like by earnings. So I did that with star Wars stuff and toys and I did really well with it. And I had a whole business around it and the whole store and now I'm doing it with Vivi. Like I'm doing the same exact strategy. I'm just working my way up. I managed to get Fantastic Four or Five on the Secret Rare. That was one that I managed to flip my way to. Now I'm working my way up to try to get to like the next level, even higher than that. And so I have multiples of certain Secret Rares that I think are going to do really well. And I'm going to keep the lowest mint ones, maybe keep it a couple. And then eventually over time, I'll probably sell one probably after the Comic-Con, like at that point. And try to get, I'm just trying to work my way up because I can't just go in and buy like Fantastic Four One Secret Rare right now. Like, I mean, I could, but I don't want to do that because it's a huge chunk. I'd rather work my way up. So that's my overall strategy that I've always done with collecting, right? So I, you know, I went on for a bit there, everybody, but that's what I do, right? <laughs> uh, Vivi Darklink, how you doing? Good to see you today. Double Quill, working on my Never Sell Comic Collection before the prices get away from me. Yeah, I know, right? I'm doing the same thing. Alex, how are you? I just bought a Lady in the Tramp 2006 for 158. Nice. 2006 was the 50th anniversary of Lady in the Tramp. Very nicely done, Alex. So I saw a post on Twitter and um, it was uh, by my good friend uh, on Vivi anyway, on, on Twitter, Chris, right? Uh, Chris uh, um, uh, Severs or is it Severs or Severs? You got to let us know. Anyway, uh, he said, just research your mint numbers before you post things for sale. Right. So you just got a really nice one because I doubt that person knew. Right. <laughs> Beats 96. Hello from Invermere. Good to see you, Beats. Bought, uh, brought brought the family to uh, for a nice little vacation for Canada day weekend. Nice. It's great that you're up here, man. Awesome. I hope you're having a great time. Invermere is beautiful. So really enjoy it. Right. Really enjoy that. Got KYC and payout already? Is that a question? <laughs> my iPad is over. Well, my I don't use iPad for the live stream because I got to use the system here, right? But I don't have KYC or payout yet. I don't. I haven't gotten it yet this weekend. I got the web app before a lot of people, but I don't have the KYC yet. So we're all get it by mid month. I'm not worried about it. I'm not cashing out anyway. You know, like I'm just. I've not, I don't want to cash out anyway, so I'll just wait, but I'll be getting it soon. And so will you, if you don't have it. So, you know, at some point very quickly here, right. Cause we're all going to get it. I'll probably get the email this weekend. I hope I get it this weekend. I don't want to open up the app and then it's like a drop. And then I'm getting it at that moment. <laughs> right. So Vince V. Hello. How you doing? Good to see you. Mario C. Good to see you. Glad to be here. Yeah. I'm glad you're here too. Surreal wonder. A lot of people are preparing for San Diego Comic Con. It's a big one, and then we got the we got New York City Comic Con. Like after that, and then we got like Decon in London. And we, I mean, guys, it just doesn't stop. And this app is going to be fully operational, just like the Death Star, fully armed and operational. This app will be, and so we don't even know what's going to happen now, right? I mean, we like fully armed and operational Vivi, right? <laughs> like fully. Fully engaged, fully activated, you know. I mean, let's see what happens now, everybody. All I'm saying is that, you know, 
make sure you got your bags packed a bit, you know, because you don't want this like thing to take off on you when it's fully operational. You know, I mean, that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to do, right? You just do whatever you're going to do. It's all good. If you want to hold and wait, cool. You're going to get opportunities for sure, right? We're not going to have, a, we may not get that another crazy pump like before San Diego Comic-Con and all the collectibles, right? Vader's holding strong. Did you guys see my Vader video yesterday? I tracked him for all of June, okay? So let's just check out where Vader is really quick here. Um, and I like to do it this way now because there we go. We got the star, we got all Star Wars stuff in a row, but Vader's not there, okay? So how come Vader's not right here? <laughs> He's up here somewhere. Where is he? Is it sorted by what's listed? I don't know. Let's go up here. Where's the dark side collection? Oh, come on, you guys. Seriously? We still got some work to do, everybody. We still got some work to do in the app. Let's see where he is. Okay, there's there's Dark Lord of the Sith. Okay, there's Vader. 153 today. Pretty good. Let's go right here. 337 listings. So, in my video yesterday, as of two days ago, we had some 30-day uh, delistings happen for sure on Vader. If you just you can watch my video, I tracked his numbers the entire month of June just to see what would happen, and I put it in a vid. Anyway, uh, uh, basically on um, July, on the 29th, because he came out on May 29th, we had about, uh, I think we had almost 100 listings come off the market. So that's a 30-day thing, right? And there were other people who are delisting as well. He hasn't come back up with his listings yet. And it's been like three days. So I don't think people are relisting now. So that's interesting, right? That's really interesting. So if we go to, um, oh, oh, come on now. Let's go. Let's go. Where's Vader? Where's Vader the, uh, the ultra rare? Give it to me here. Come on. Because sometimes when you click, you can get right to the market on him. I guess I'll just search, I guess. Let's go, Vader. There he is. Okay, let's go. Come on, give it. How come it's not giving me the market? It's giving me this stupid view details thing. Let's go. Okay, come on now. Let's go here. Not fully armed and operational yet, everybody. <laughs> come on, Vader, give me the market version of him. Why? Why can't I get him? Where is he? Let's go. Um, let's let's clear out. Uh, let's go ultra rare. Let's let's just. Narrow the search. There he is. Okay, there's 300 listed today. All right, 300 listed today at 2250. So, you know, he went down a bit. Remember, he was like 1800 there for like five seconds. <laughs> and people were like, oh, here we go. I got all these like tweets about, oh, yeah, here comes the crash. He's back up to 2250, everybody. You know, people are just not, they're not dumb. They're not going to sell him for nothing anymore. It's just, people are just not going to do it. And if they do do it, he's, he's getting bought immediately. And so if you watch my video yesterday, I break down all the numbers from all of June. It's really interesting to see how Vader went because on the 27th of June, that was kind of the all time high day around, you know, close to 3000. I was tracking it at a certain time of night, every night, like about 8 PM Pacific. And he was around like, um, 2,800 at that day, I believe 2,800 gems. And, uh, but anyway, on the 29th, the like market, like the listings went down on a lot of them by like a lot and they haven't resurfaced. This is the thing. So I was saying, if people are waiting to buy him, watch the listings, because if they go up, the price will come down. Probably I'm guessing we'll see if people want to list, but I don't think people are really like that interested, uh, you know, in selling Vader for cheap, <laughs> like, you know, we got down to 300. So they're, you know, like at the start of June, like if you go to the, if you go to the, the common, right. At the start of June, there was like 600 and like 70 or something available June 3rd. Now there's only like 300 available of the common, right? 337. So it's literally in one month, he went half. So some of those listings were delisted on the 29th, but none of them would come back. None of them would come back. Right. So it's really interesting uh, to, to do that. Right. It's really interesting to check watch numbers. Right. Yeah, Zombie Attack News, you won, my friend. There you go. Check Discord. I'll get it to you there, right? You got to give me your address and all that. Young Avengers is a key comic. Yeah, it, well, it's it's becoming a key comic, okay? So it's not a key comic yet, okay? We have to get these characters. They have to get, you know, they have to do something with them. 
for it to be like a real key comic. And I have no worries that they won't. Of course they will. That's why they, but that comic's from 2005. Okay. So like, think about this. If you have owned that comic for this long in the real world, okay, this is not like a brand new comic that was printed like yesterday. This comic's been out a while. So in real life, comic speculators have, have been holding on to this comic for years, like literally years, you guys. So I believe it's a 2005 uh, comic book. Um, I believe it is. Uh, I'll, I'll probably want to double check that really quick here. Let's double check. Um, let's go eBay. I just want to really quick check this again, just, just so I don't misquote. Okay, so we got Young Avengers. I just searched it up. Young, young, young Guns. There we go. Young Avengers 1. Okay. Just want to check this out. Yeah, so this is a... So, so like, this is a 2005 comic book, all right? This is not brand new. So, I mean, you know, it's been out for a long time and it hasn't reached Grail status yet at all. Now, that's because they haven't done anything with the characters. But I think now that Vivi's dropping it, this is a good indication for comic book collectors in the real world. If they're here in Vivi, this is a good indication because it's dropping in our app now that they're going to start doing stuff with these characters. So anyone is in the real world who is not on Vivi, who is like collecting comic books, like this comic book, you know, at their shop and they've stacked a bunch and they're still waiting and they don't know that Vivi just dropped this. And, and Vivi is giving us the hint because it's directly from Marvel, right? Like, and, you know, they're, they're, they're the ones like they're deciding which comics come to the app. And if they chose this comic book to drop now, after it's been out since 2005, then we know that something is going to happen with these characters. So it's a safe comic to go after now. But could you imagine if you were stacking these up in 06, 07, 08? You really had to have some like, you know, this is that's even before Iron Man, the movie Iron Man came out. Iron Man came out in 08, right? So this comic book came out three years before even the MCU even really got going. So, you know, this is what comic book collectors in the real world do. They they speculate, but you got you had to wait a long time for this 9.8. This this 9.8 that this person is selling on eBay, I wonder how long ago they graded that. I mean, it could have been graded recently, right? They probably, they're probably getting a lot sent in for grading now, right? So it's going to be really interesting to see how this comic book goes, right? But yeah, it's a key issue. And I think the thing about it, like I said, is because Vivi dropped it. Now, if you're here in the app and you're, you know, you have a leg up on in real life comic book collectors, but someone like myself or like Sleeping Comics or something, I mean, you know, he's probably already been stacking this comic before, you know, and now he's in VV too. So he just got a little boost of a hint that's saying, yep, something's going to happen, right? Giant size X-Men would be great as well. Kryptonia, I usually don't ask these type of questions, but this one has me stumped. Um, the FA Joker or Pride 2? Ooh, good question, Kryptonia. What does the chat think about that? What does the chat think? Well, Pride 2 is like, they basically said they're going to be giving it utility. So uh, Joker FA is Joker FA. The only problem with Joker FA and any of the uh, the earlier DC stuff is they have the low selling fee. So, you know, people just don't seem to want to let them explode. Like people don't want to let the Joker really take off. Like every time he gets a little bit higher, people sell and take profits or whatever. And then he goes back down, they rebuy him, right? Because the selling fee is low. So people are not, are not willing to let uh, characters like the Joker and the Penguin and all the rest of them go to the moon yet. Now, that doesn't mean they won't one day. So Pride 2, though, um, to me, looks like something that could be really important because if they give it utility, then it, it goes beyond, right? Just an, just a, an NFT uh, in the app on Vivi. So I would probably choose Pride 2 at this moment over the Joker because I'm not confident that anyone in this app right now is going to let the Joker soar, which is sad because it's the Joker, right? So it's just me. That's just what I think, but do what you think because you can't you can't go wrong if you own a Joker FA. I mean, you're going to be okay. You just have to hold it for a long time. That's all. Double cool. You do the Joker, yeah, for sure. Crypto superhero bought three digit uh, uh, of seven of the top common comics. Nicely done. There you go, crypto superhero. That's that's what I'm doing too. I'm looking at low mints now on some of the higher end comics, right? So if I go to my collection here, if I go to my comic books. If I scroll all the way to the bottom, this is what I've been doing the last like week on top of the secret rares. So I'm, I can't get to the secret rares on a lot of these, right? 
So I just go after the low mint con uh, 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 common, right? Like, yeah, there we go. We got uh, Ultimate Fallout, X Men. I got this yesterday. Nineteen number nineteen fifty six. I picked that up for thirty three gems. I can't even believe it. I got three digits on uh, on Avengers eights over there, but I picked this up a while ago. I got Spider Man right here. Only number forty five hundred. So I need to get lower mint on the uh, Spider Man here. Fantastic Four. I'm at twenty nine twenty five. And Journey into Mystery, I got twenty nine twenty four, which is actually kind of funny. So I like to get into the uh, <coughs> into the teens, you know, like the fifteen hundred range. Three digits of those will be like really, really uh, expensive. And uh, because if you think about a three digit, like here's something to think about. This is with my strategy, right? With my uh, low mint strategy as well. And other people are doing it too, right? Obviously. I know the superstar money and those guys, they're doing the same thing. They've been posted about it. It's great too, right? So watch their vids about it too. But like if like there's, think about this, okay? There are likely less fantastic four number ones in three digit mints than there are of the secret rare. Think about that, right? Because the secret rare, like all the mint numbers are mixed, right? They're all mixed in, you know? So secret rare, some of them have like a 25,000 mint number, right? So, so right? So um, a three-digit secret rare is going to be like extremely elite. Like a two-digit secret rare obviously is the elite of the elite, of course. But like if you get a three-digit common, there's probably, it's hard to say. It's, I don't even, I don't even know how we find out. But like a three-digit common Fantastic Four one could be uh, more elite, like in terms of how many are available than the actual secret rare in terms of all the secret rares, right? Like, cause there's like 600 of them, right? Are there 600 Fantastic Four ones, three-digit mints? Are there 600 of them? I don't know if there are, cause there only can be a thousand in total, right? There can only be a thousand or sorry, yeah, there can only be 999 Fantastic Four Ones uh, in a common on a three digit, right? Are you following me? So three digits are like mixed amongst all the varieties, right? You know, they're mixed amongst all of them. So how many three digit Fantastic Four One commons actually exist? This stuff is going to start making sense as we go on here. So get your low mints if you can, right? Howdy from Sacramento. There you go. Bob Sales, did you miss anything? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. When did you get here? How Secret Rare Stitch. One week ago, uh, uh, 100 gems. So artistic. Incredible too. Yeah, people seem to like Stitch. I don't actually have any interest in Stitch, but people love it. People seem to love in the real world. People love Stitch, right? So I don't own Stitch at the moment though. My 16, uh, my 16 Young Avengers number ones, I got six comment. Uh, you got... Okay, you got six commons, six uncommons, a rare, and an ultra rare. Nicely done, Crypto King. That's great. Nice spread it around there. I'm slowly sweeping the floor of Tales of Suspense 52 uncommon. Great cover. Oh, man, that's a good one, too. That's a good one, too. Tales of Suspense 52. So any of these, like, you know, any of these original, like, uh, Silver Age comics. Oh, I'm in the collectibles here. Let's go to comics. Let's just Let's just see where you're at right here. Tales of Suspense 52. Let's go down. Let's let's take a quick look at Tales of Suspense 52. You know, there's 77. I was stacking that one. Oh, so this is the one with the Black Widow. There you go. So yeah, number 202. And there's 202 of these. There's 205 of those. I was stacking this one. There's 324. Now I was getting these ones at five and six, the uh, number 77. Because these are like really great, you know, key issues. And they, they go for, for, you know, thousands upon thousands of dollars. Yeah, still at 10. Yeah, you can sweep the floor on that. Look at that. You sweep the floor. You get you get 10 of those for 100 gems, and suddenly you're up to 14, right? And guess what? How many are available? 93. <laughs> There's only 93 commons available. So there you go, man. That's the thinking. That's what I'm thinking too. Smart. Nick Matcher, I'm dying to get transfers back. They should allow everyone who does KYC to have it back. This will encourage all to fill it out too. Yeah, apparently I think is what they said was that once we have the master collector program in place, we'll allow to get transfers. Now, I don't know how those connect. I'm thinking KYC is good enough. Uh, but I think that's what I heard them say like a month or two ago. But we'll see what happens, right? We'll see what happens. But yeah, I'd like to get transfers back as well. I like to do more giveaways on the channel here. <laughs> and also, I like to transfer some stuff to my kid's account. Now, you know, like we were going to do the Night Rider car and drive around. Well, I'm waiting for transfers to do that. And then we're going to drive around with the Night Rider car. 
he'll go on the iPad. I'll go on my phone. We'll go here, you know, drive around and my son and daughter. It'll be super fun. So I can't do it until transfers come back. I mean, I could buy one on this account, but I don't want to. You got 30 on the drop. Nicely done, Tucson. Yo, yo, yeah. Secret Rare Stitch is a grail. Very popular. And the grail, Secret Rare is art. Yeah. Super nice, everybody. Everybody loves. When I have my store and see right above me, I got Lego minifigures up here. I see the Lego minifigure displays up there, right above there. So those were from my toy store. I just moved a few in my office and I had a whole wall of minifigures. And this is the year ago that I closed the shop, but I had a whole wall of like, at any given time, 300 mini Lego minifigures, unique ones. And, you know, because it, it was great. I mean, I love Lego too, right? And we don't have Lego on the app, but I love it, right? Anyway, Stitch, Stitch Lego minifigure sold like crazy. I couldn't believe it. And this is from the Disney release. They had like a series of minifigures, like series one, and Stitch was in there. And he like sold, I thought he was, I didn't think anyone was going to buy him because I didn't know. And people bought him like first. They bought him just as much as they bought Steamboat Willie. I couldn't believe it. And now I'm not saying he's like that in the app, but I'm just saying he's, you know, he's pretty popular. I don't own any stitches though. Uh, should I buy a secret word comic for a hundred or stack 10 commons? Depends on the comic, but I personally work from top down, Stefan. Like I go more elite first, secure it, and then I'll work my way down. It really depends on the comic though. Like if you can get 10 commons at 10 gems each and it's like Avengers four or something, I probably maybe do that over like secret rare, like, you know, um, one of the really, really cheap ones at the moment, uh, just, just because I think it'll appreciate better. And then you can go back and get that secret rare later. Cause it'll probably still be around the same price. But then again, the crazy thing about the secret rare comics is that they're very stable, right? They can't have wild price fluctuations in terms of like everyone dumping them because there's only five or 600 available. There's not like there's like 18,000 of them you know, which is like a, a collectible or something. That's why I go for them, right? There's only a hundred dooms available. I know, right? Doom. That's BV Arcade, everybody. Check out his channel. He Nano, I think it'd be a good balance is 50-50 between established books and spec books. As you see, grails become grails. Yes, indeed. I agree. <laughs> Crypto Superhero just bought seven of uh, top 10 comic comics. All all. All digits before they go up. Yeah, good plan, man. That's what I'm doing. I'm just putting them away. Hey, my guy, Sean ZZ. Love these live streams. Just wanted to get your opinion on Amazing Spider-Man 15. How does it compare to um, Marvel Comics 1? Amazing Spider-Man 15. Do you mean 14? Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's sort right here. Do we have Amazing Spider-Man 15 in the app? I know. I think you mean 14, right? Like this one right here. How does it compare to Marvel Comics 1? Well, this comic right here is, you know, there's a lot of additions on the common, right? I have the secret rare on this comic and I'm keeping it. So go to the common because I think that's what you're, what you're talking. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay. Okay. I think you're talking about Amazing Fantasy 15. So you're talking about Amazing Fantasy 15, right, Sean? Sorry. Yeah. So you're talking about... The first appearance of Spider-Man, Amazing Fantasy 15, the one that we don't have yet. Okay, I clued in. You said Amazing, you said Amazing Spider-Man 15 there, but anyway, it's Amazing Fantasy. But yeah, how does it compare? Well, Amazing Amazing Spider-Man fit. Uh, sorry, you're getting me to say it now. <laughs> amazing Fantasy 15 is probably uh, that with Action Comics one. I would say it's probably the most famous comic book in the world at this moment. So I think it beats uh, Marvel Comics 1. This is just me. Now, in terms of price value, because Marvel Comics 1 is, is very scarce and it's Marvel Comics, number one. Like, it's, you know, their first official big time. I mean, the Marvel existed before that, but it's their first, like, you know. So it is a it is a massive comic. I mean, we're talking, like, the tip of the icebergs here. We're talking, like, the top of the mountain type stuff comparisons. But I would, if I had a choice in my collection just to own one of those two, I would take Amazing Fantasy 15. I would definitely take that all day. Just my opinion, right? I think it's pretty much the most famous comic book in the world, and it's approaching that. You know, um, it's you know, just my opinion. Now, there's there's other comic books that have sold for higher, but I think it's I think it's super famous because it's Spider Man, right? I mean, you know, and I like the fact that it has a character attached as an FA. That's what pushes it above for me 
Uh, I think that once MCP rolled out, all the secret rare comics will rise above 150 just for the fact that lots of uh, most points for the comic and people will be able to see how much it affects their MCP. Yeah, they're six points a piece. I mean, that's just another side benefit. All the cheap ones, six points a pop. If you just get one, just boom. I think if you get two, it drops down to three points, uh, you know, like for, for one of them. I think it, it halves its way down, I think. I have to go look at the MCP stuff again, but, you know. But yeah, man. My Master Collector points have skyrocketed since I've been going after Secret Rares. It's great. Of course, I've been stacking commons like a madman, too. Odin and Beta Ray Bill doing well. Yeah, they're doing great. Those Marvel Mighties are fun. People like them. They're, F they're FAs, right? Kryptoni's got five. There you go. Thanks. You got five drop heads, Kryptoni. Let's go. <laughs> you have four BRBs. Nice, Tucson. There you go. Ahoy. It's a root jog. Uh, Ahoy, MC fam and Aaron. Hope you're all doing great and excited for Vivi's next step. Yeah, man. So this app, like I said, just like the Death Star is going to be fully armed and operational. Now, the Death Star did explode, okay? <laughs> Twice. So um, I think Vivi's going to be fine, though. <laughs> but yeah, fully armed and operational Vivi app. Let's see what happens, right? Let's just see what happens. Just go along for the ride. All you got, it's the simplest thing you'll ever do. If you have stuff in the app right now and you have some good stuff, you could literally just do nothing and just just like do nothing for the next year and just like go along for the ride and just see what happens to them. Do you think they're going to go and crash? No way, man. They're going to go up, right? So, and you know, you don't want to miss out on new stuff. So you probably want to stick around. But if you did nothing, it's like the simplest thing you could ever do. Secure some secret rares and just do nothing with them. And then once they go up in value over time, sell them off as you want. The app will be fully armed and operational. You can then like cash out and take some money out. You know, good times ahead, man. It's going to be great. I'm psyched. I'm pumped. I've always been pumped, but I'm even more pumped. You guys know I am, right? <laughs> Loki FA is good. Yeah, Loki's great. He's like 20 gems. I just bought one today on stream. I just picked up one, a, a 2000 mint. I mean, where is he? You know, I'm, I'm not trying to pump him. He doesn't need me pumping him. You know, look, he's at 20. Look at that. You just pick one up. There's another one there at 2000 uh, two mint. You know, I mean, none of these ones are all fine. Cause there's only 8,000 of them. It's not like there's like see, the things that things that hurt some of the other guys, you know, the other characters in the app of the guys and girls, superheroes is that there's like 14,000 of them or 18,000. There's only 8,000 Loki's. So he's in a reasonable range. There's actually just so you know, there's less Loki's available than Superman, right? Now Superman is beautiful and it's Superman. They're not on the same level. Like Loki and Superman are not the same level characters, right? But like, you know, there's all, you know, there's 8,800 of Supermans, right? So think about that. Um, but, you know, the thing about Superman, guys, is like people just won't let him grail because he has a selling fee, a selling fee at this moment. Same thing with like the Joker and all that. I mean, he's nice and high and he's, he's decent, but, you know, people just won't let it happen yet. And when will they let it happen? It's going to take people just to clear it out, to really hold them, right? But he's got that low selling fee, so he's really tempting for people in the app right now. Our current community, will they don't seem to want to let Superman grail. And even Todd, because he has that like you know selling uh, low selling fee too. So that's why he's still only around like 2,700 and not 10,000 like he should be, right? Because people still are so tempted to sell him. People have lots of them. Because there's people who have lots of those two characters, like lots of them. So every time something new comes around, they can drop one off, no problem. And until we get through that, is you know, I don't know when that's going to be. You know, they they it's going to be hard for them to go like really sky high. But they will though. That's why I'm have them. That's why I'm just holding right. Steve Rogers, Captain America. Yeah, he's great too. He's just got a ton of additions. So Loki is like in terms of if you just. If you just take the, the 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 numbers on Loki, he's he's quite good. Like he's quite good, right? Beta Ray built only fifteen hundred and only fifteen hundred complete sets in existence. Yeah, there you go. The complete set thing is interesting too, right? You know, the complete set thing is really interesting. How many people will have that set? And you know, if they do airdrops, it'll count. It'll count for something. Pry two no pixel version will probably be airdropped into Pry two holders. Would be cool. Yeah, I know, right? So like I said, the Pry two drop, they like you know they. They solve the thing pretty quick. If, like I said, if you get one of those things early and there's issues with it, you know, take advantage of people who are panic selling it. Vivi's just going to fix it. I mean, Thor had no eyes. 
at <laughs> one moment. He fixed him. I, you know, just, just wait a day or two. It's no problem. It's not nothing to get excited about, you know? And if anyone who sold that him sold that collectible and just halved it or sold it for like, because they were like, Oh, this sucks. You know, next time, just wait, just wait a day or two. It's just my advice. Take it or leave it. I wasn't involved. I didn't own one of those at all. I didn't get one on the drop or anything. So, you know, I just watched it happen, but I'm like, don't, don't just like dump it. Just wait a day. It's all good. The, you know, they fix stuff before. It's okay. Put that 84 up for auction. <laughs> Beta Ray Bill is not as popular and, and overvalued. Green Goblin is way cooler, more popular. Yo, yo, that is true at the moment. But if Beta Ray Bill shows up in the Thor movie in less than a week from now, and if Beta Ray Bill is super cool, which they will make him cool because he is a very, very cool character in the real world. People like that character in the comics. He is going to do great. Like if Beta Ray Bill comes in and they make him really funny and they make him like a, a really cool character, because that's what Marvel does. They take characters that you nobody cared about before that much, as much, and turn them into legends. Like seriously, before Iron Man came out, now everybody liked Iron Man in the comic book collecting world. Iron Man was a really good character. But until Robert Downey Jr. was cast as the actor, and until that exploded in the MCU, Iron Man has now reached like another level, right? Same with Captain America. People liked Captain America. They always liked him. He's always good. But until they actually put like, you know, Chris Evans as the actor and they did all that stuff with him, I mean, the Black Widow, all the Avengers, right? You know, the Hulk is maybe the exception because it's the Hulk. He was always ma massively popular. And when we get the Hulk collectible in this app, that's going to be crazy, everybody. That's going to be fun. The, the, the Incredible Hulk, you know, that's going to be cool. You know, but all these other bigger characters, like Spider-Man and all them, they're already there. But some of these other characters, you know, like a Beta Ray Bill, right? the good example that I always like to say is the Guardians of the Galaxy, right? The Guardians of the Galaxy were nowhere, okay? Nobody cared about the Guardians of the Galaxy, Star-Lord, and the rest of them. Very niche back before the movies came out. And once those movies came out, everybody loves the Guardians of the Galaxy now, right? Everybody loves them. That's all it takes. And that's what, that's what the MCU is doing. So Beta Ray Bill is a good one to keep collect in my opinion looking forward to mcp q3 maybe master collector points yeah i don't know i have no idea when it's coming yeah we'll see you know kyc you know mtl mcp <laughs> it's all coming fully armed and operational so will that be when mcp is here uh that's a program so i just i don't think that that that's i think just the kyc and the mtl as we're getting here pretty quick here for all of us, that's going to be fully armed and operational. You have one. <laughs> nice. I can't wait for MCP. How, how, how do you, by the way, calculate your MCP points? I saw your last video. You calculate your MCP every month. So yeah, go to the website that VV puts out. They show the calculations. Like they show like what you get for your collectibles and comics. Uh, just type in master collector program VV. It's on the medium website and uh, they have like, they, they have the breakdown and you can like guesstimate, right? Because, um, I I'm guesstimating with those, like with what information they're providing. And it's just a, a rough estimate for me. So you can do that too. It's right on their website. That's how you do it. Just Google it up. You'll find it. it's on the medium site. Not overvalued 15 minutes. Yeah. Do you excel? Do you use Excel or maybe online programs for it? No, I, I, well, I'm a graphic designer. Like that's my job that I have is it's like, is it, you know, off aside from this kind of stuff and my toy business. So that's, you know, so I have all the Adobe programs like, you know, InDesign, Photoshop, Illustrator, all that stuff. So I just use those. I I, I don't Excel. I, because uh, I just, I just type it in and I keep it. I just update it on the fly once a week. I just update it. So I don't have to sit down and do a whole thing like, you know, and it's pretty easy for me because I keep track of stuff pretty closely in my collection, but yeah, you can use Excel or Google docs or something. If you want FA in comic, isn't FA in collectibles. F.A. in comic isn't F.A. in collectibles. Okay, man. What do you mean by that? Like, I, like, what do you mean by that? Like, what, what are you trying to say there? F.A. in comics isn't F.A. in collectibles. So an F.A. appearance in a, in a comic book. Yeah, okay, so just to explain a little bit more what we're trying to say. It sounds like an interesting point. Some do not know how popular Beta Ray Bill is. Well, yeah, he's pretty popular, but, I mean, all they got to do is drop him in this Thor movie and make him super cool, like say something funny and like a cool character with a cool actor behind it, you know, behind the mask or whatever. And he will take off, you know. Um, he has less mints than Spider-Man 2029. Yeah, he's very rare, right? What price do you think Odin will stop at? I don't know, Bob Sales. We'll see where he goes. We'll see where he goes. It's up to the market. 
Oh, uh, okay. Means we have uh, new collectibles uh, types uh, or new FAs. Okay, for sure, man. For sure. Matt Sakal, love the first Marvel Mighty Drop with Steve, Captain America, and Red Skull. Second ever Marvel Drop 2 after Spidey FA. Yeah, very cool. They're great. You know, Captain America just has a ton of additions for this current community. So it'll take a while for him to go up. I love the Captain America or the Steve Rogers FA. But like, you know, it's going to take a long time, right? So for him to go up because there's so many additions for our current user base. But eventually, you know, it's his FA. <coughs> I got to finish the Marvel set. Yeah, there you go. So you could do that. You could just be a Marvel Mighty set collector in this app. You could just scrap everything else and just do Marvel Mighties. And I'm sure you would do good long term. There's some really good stuff in there. There are two Doctor Doom FA. Uh, one is comics and one is a collectible. It means we have um, a, new, uh, a new FA Doom. Oh, I see what you mean right there. So which one is the first? Yeah, they're, they're separate types of things. The comic book FA. I see what you're getting at. Uh, it's an interesting point for sure. Do you have like, which one's the FA FA, right? Well, you know, <laughs> I think the character for the NFT and then the comic book is a comic book itself. So that's how you do it. But I hear what you're saying. Crypto King, we better get the complete Fantastic Four Marvel set before the movie comes out. <laughs> yeah, maybe, right? Maybe. Yeah, I just go for I go for the comic book first myself. But yeah, you could do that, Crypto King. Get all four. They, I mean, you know, you could you could stack them up. Fan, you could stack up uh, Captain uh, uh, Mister Fantastic like crazy. I was actually stacked a bunch of them up before the uh, Doctor Strange movie, and then you saw what happened to Captain to to uh, Mister Fantastic in that movie. <laughs> but he'll be back. He'll be back. Right, Batman Crockett ninety. Yeah, those are funny, man. Like those are those are gonna have their day one day too, right? Ultra Rare animated Spider Man still cheap. Yeah, you bet. Totally. Um, Drop podcast. We love you, my friend. The best of the best. Oh man, you have to say that. Thank you so much, you guys. You guys are doing great stuff, by the way. Check out what they're doing on Twitter. You guys, Drop Podcast. You guys are awesome, man. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate that. Now, that, uh, you know, definitely not. They're like. There's so many great people in this space, including you guys and everybody in the chat. So yeah, the Vader, the Vader video. Yeah. Well, I just, I told people I was going to do that, that I was tracking him all month. It's just information. I don't know if it means something to you guys, if it gives you some info, I would just wanted to see what would happen with him. It's pretty interesting where he is right now. Cause it helps make your, like if you, if you really have your sights set on a collectible or a comic, you can like, you know, go after, go and check them out, track them. Right. And you can track them on a Comey wiki and other stuff as well. But I like to, I like to make a note like ding, ding, ding. And just, it's just very visual because, you know, you can go on a Comey wiki and you can just scroll back really easily. But when you see them all in a row like that, it's interesting to me. Secret rare Spidey's at 17 K. Let's check it out. Who's going to buy them today. Who's going to get secret rare Spidey at 7 K 17 K. Let's see where he is. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Let's go. Maybe I should do it. <laughs> Secret rare Spider-Man. Oh yeah. Well, it's just a, it's just one listing there. Drop 2000 under the floor. If somebody wants to, uh, you know, cash them out. Maybe they have a bunch. Maybe they have a few. Boutini. Who are you? Boutini member since February. Okay. So Boutini uh, uh, has been in the app since February. So we're talking like OG stuff here, everybody. Right? So there you go. So, you know, hey, man, probably got him like, you know, on the drop or whatever. So there you go right there. 2000 under the floor. There's an opportunity for somebody. That's a lot of money, man. Especially if you can cash out. That's a lot of money. Especially if they got him for like 400. <laughs> I wish we could see the gold ribbon when we own it uh while browsing the market i have 160 comics it'd be nice to see that just in case i forget if i own it oh yeah so i know what you mean so if you own the comic you get to see a little thing just in case you forget yeah i hear you i hear you vader is going easily to 30k in a bull run he could it really depends on the sellers right so it like the funny thing about any of this stuff right it's it, it's it's funny to me because all this stuff is controlled by us by you me everybody else right so like Vader, you know, this is the common here, right? But like Vader, like everybody here is deciding to sell them for 153 to 160. Like it's not VV or anybody else. It's you, right? It's me. It's you. 
So if you choose, if we choose to not sell him for any more less, like the common for anything less than 400, for example, that's what he's going to be worth. Right? So all of you, uh, everybody who's selling him at 150 to 160, you know, if you're comfortable with that, more power to you, you know, but like, you know, you could, all these people here could sell him for 400 and that's what he would be worth. He would be worth 400 because we control the market that the community does. So it's up to us how much these are worth everybody. Think about that. It's up to us, the owners, how much they're worth. Not Vivi. Vivi already sold them to us for what they thought they were worth. Vader was 80. That's how much he was at retail. But it's like anything, right? In the aftermarket, in the collector's aftermarket, we determine the price. The community does. And there'll be people who will fly in there and drop something really cheap. So, you know, if everybody wanted, uh, if, if you want your Darth Vader to be worth 400, then don't list them at 150. <laughs> simple, right? It's very simple. I won't sell my ultra rare Vader for a long time. If you sold it for 2.2 K, seriously, what would you buy that's better than Vader? Yeah, it's interesting, right? That's a really good question, Bones B, because if you're selling them at 2000, uh, what are you doing with those gems, right? So what I did, because I did sell him to rob stuff, right? And I had two, right? And so I got one for 900 the day of the drop. I bought one. I got one on the drop and that's the one I kept. It actually has a lower mint number too, which I'm really great. But the one for 900, I held for a while. And then I wanted to go after Fantastic Four Five Seeker Rare, which dropped down to 1700, if you can believe that. So, um, you know, and Rob stuff, he was looking to get back in. So he bought my uh, Vader and we did it on his stream too. Either his stream or my stream. I believe it was his stream. And it was fun because like, he needed the Vader. So, and then I took the gems and I bought Fantastic Four Five. So um, I'm not saying that Fantastic Four Five is better than Vader, but I have a Vader still. So I just wanted also to have that comic. So we'll see what happens. But if you don't have a Vader after you sell them for two and a half, it is true. What are you going to buy that's better? <laughs> it's really hard to say, right? You could stack up hordes of comics and flip your way up or hordes of collectibles and make flips and then get back into it. But it's a scary game because, you know, if he takes off, like really takes off, uh, got lucky on Vader's uh, ultra rare. But after that, I got 17 raw commons ready for another. Yeah, there you go, man. There you go. Ultra rare comics have had not had their day yet. Exactly. Secret rares. It's because secret rares have not been accumulated to the point where they should. And so now the focus is there. But once the secret rares are gone, everybody, the next step is the ultra rares. <laughs> of course, the low mint commons are also drying up. It's interesting though. Yeah, they're great. They're all exclusive too, which is great. Watch and pray. How do you rationalize the large mint size of MC1 comic for value? How do I personally rationalize it? Well, it's just a, a really massive comic. And it's not that big if you consider um, the amount of people that collect comic books in the world. So we think it's a uh, large mint size, but it's large only compared to the other some of the other comics in the app. And so the market will tell us how much it's worth. And they're saying it's, it's, a, it's the second most expensive common comic, regardless of the mint size. It's the second most expensive that we have on the app. Do you guys want to see the top five most expensive common comics that we have on the app? Because the market tells us because it's a massive comic, right? So I'll share this with you right here. Let's check this out. This is Vault Value. It's just a little app. I know some of you know about it. It's just free. I think it's free. Oh, it might be two bucks or something. But I uh, I use this app all the time, more than almost anything else, just because. Oh, I was going for secret rares. Just because I can easily just you know sort stuff. So can, I don't know if you guys can see this very well here. Let me just uh, make it a bit more centralized. Uh, that's that's better. Here are the common comics that are number one. So uh, you know, obviously, Amazing Spider-Man 252. I mean, obviously, right? Because it's like a secret rare, right? <laughs> but then look, we got Avengers 8. Oh, Avengers 8's up to 189, so that's climbed a bit. Marvel Comics 1 has climbed again. It's up to 160. Now, these numbers are actually about an hour or so behind the actual market because it takes a little time for it to catch up on this app itself. So I check this just generally, and then I go into the market to really check it. But, you know, uh, there's 48,000 copies of the common, only 437 listed, because people know it's just a massive grail. And the 48,000 seems like a lot, but it's not a lot compared to how many people collect comics, right? And so, yeah, it's big. 
That's why Avengers 8 is even better in some regard because there's only 6,000 of them. <laughs> Avengers 8 is huge. So that's a, that's the number one, in my opinion, like aside from Amazing Spider-Man 252, because that's like an anomaly comic. That's not to me a regular one because the it's like a secret rare upon a secret rare. It's so awesome, that comic. I love it. I mean, check it out. Check it out. I got it right here. It's beauty. <laughs> and when Amazing Fantasy 15 comes in, I'm going to put it side by side because it's the cover, right? They're, they're, that's what they did. So first big key issue. First first black suit Spider-Man. Anyway, so then you got, you know, Fantastic Four One at 60. You know, we got the Thor because it's limited as well. This is the Beta Ray Bill. Anticipation for this one, right? Because of his character. Because now we just got we just got his FA uh, collectible, so you know the MCU is dropping him. He's he's showing up on screen soon. We know that. I mean, that's what happens. This is what they're doing. We just don't know when. Fantastic Four, five, Amazing Spider-Man, one, Ultimate Fallout, four, Daredevil, one, and then look at Star Wars. Everybody's like, oh yeah, Star Wars. No, look at Star Wars right there. It's got less less additions than a regular common. And it's the original cover and it's Star Wars. Star Wars number one is holding strong, everybody, right? Higher than Journey into Mystery, higher than Strange Tales 110, which I don't think it should be. I think Strange Tales 10 should be way up there and it will be 23 gems. That's a joke for FA of, uh, of um, Doctor Strange, in my opinion. Spider-Man 3, Spider-Man 50, Hit Monkey because of the low numbers. You can see, like, it's just really easy. You got Ghost Rider and stuff, but you can see the top common comics and Marvel Comics is right there. And it should be. Marvel Comics should be right there. It's a beauty. It's an absolute beauty. <laughs> Based on your earlier Joker answer. Okay. Hold on a second here. Almost lost my comment. The comment. Based on your earlier Joker answer, could it arguably be a wise move to sell my Joker and spread the gems around for some common Grail comics in lead up to Comic-Con? I do have a couple of each. Yeah, you know, James, it's really interesting with that because like I said, it seems like the cur current community that we have in this app refuses to let the Joker or Superman, who is a massive grail, like a ma like Superman's FA, to really take off because of the selling the selling uh, the selling fee. Right at this moment, like as soon as they get up there, are people like you know sell them because I think you know when they came out, if he came like if Superman dropped today with that FA, I mean you know. Boom, right? Boom. <laughs> but because of when he came out, people picked him up for cheap. So there's still lots of people who have Superman for cheap. And, you know, they, you know, the two, the, the, that selling fee is really attractive, right? It's like 2% or something. So if you sell them at 2,000, you pay like, I don't know, like what, 50, 60, 70 gems or something. Whereas you sell a golden moment at 2,000 or a big comic book, you're, you're taking a hit, right? So that's why. So it's just going to take time before to get all those Supermans and Jokers just in the hands of holders, you know, to uh, collectors, because people refuse to let them go up. I say that kind of in a funny way, right? I mean, they're not like intentionally, but people just do not want to allow them to climb yet. But that will come over time, right? If we go to the market and we go to brands and we look at Superman, Superman. I mean, look, he's down to 1100 again. Like these people refuse to let him fly because he's got that selling fee and that's fine. It's whatever people want to do. You just do whatever you want to do, but you know, he gets up to 1500, 1600, 1700 recently up here. Right. And people are like, yes, you know, it's Superman, of course. And the people are like, Oh, selling fee. And then they just list them like this at the moment. Right. And the same thing happens with Joker and all those earlier uh, FAs on the DC side, that selling fee hurts them in regards to the current situation that we have here. Now, Here's the cool part. In the future, when you can cash out, would you not want a collectible that actually ha has a lesser fee for you to cash out with? Right? So if he goes up, like I would want this guy to go as high as he could. And then if I did sell him that point for gems, my I'm going to get more gems when I cash out, right? So he's always going to be sold, right? And it's not like I don't think he's ever going to be super grail, grail level. But that's what's hurting him at the moment from really soaring and getting up to 3,000 again or 5,000 or whatever, right? Of course, the current market too is, you know, you know, not going to let him get that high quite yet because there's so many other things people are going for. But, you know, that's what happens to the Joker too. So I'm not going to recommend uh, anything, you know? I think that uh, you guys should like do your own, um, 
do your own stuff, but what you want to do with Superman, for example, or, or Joker, but that could be a decent, like, um, that could be a, you know, that could be a strategy you could do because I don't think Superman is going to take off anytime soon. Now, that being said, like the Joker and stuff, that being said, just takes one or two people just to like clean the floor up on him. And then suddenly he's gone. And then it's like, oh crap. So it's scary, right? When you talk about something as, 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 as a magnitude of that, right? You know? Just out of curiosity, for KYC, do I need an actual paper copy of a bank statement then take a picture of it? Or can I just download my bank statement and send it? I don't know Maximum Customs. I haven't done the process yet. So go over and watch Rob Stuff's video or a couple other people who have done the process. So, and they'll tell you exactly. I don't exactly know yet. I think you do need a bank statement to take a picture of. It proves your address, the name of your address. I think that's all you need it for. And I think it gets uploaded maybe as a PDF file. Like, you know, so I think... But I don't know because I haven't done it yet. So I'm not the right person to ask quite yet, okay? But I think you just you need it for your address. But check out Rob Stuff's video because he actually did a video of him doing it. If you had sold your whole collection for current floors and had to choose which three collectibles to go on, which one would you choose? Well, I, I would go, you know, um, I would go Batman, like like Todd, you know, and I would go uh, Darth Vader and I would go Spider-Man. Simple. <laughs> I've been stacking Spider-Man 101. Nice. That's Morbius. That's a good one, Jonathan. I stacked him previously too. I have the secret rare on it. Do you think golden moments will do great in the app in the future? Yeah, I did a whole video about how I think in a year they'll have um, uh, in, in a year from now. I don't know about exactly one year, but about their uh, utility. I did a, a couple days ago, like a week ago. Watch my video about what I think about the golden moments and future utility. I break it all down right there, Matt. It's pretty good. Yeah, I think they're great, especially the first series, the first set. Just my opinion. You meant the uncommon FA Black Widow, not the common, but the common is low supply too. Oh, okay, yeah, the uncommon Black Widow is also really nice. That comic book, that's a good comic book in the real world too. The, the Amazing Spider-Man with the Black Widow. And she's all like, the uncommons are kind of neat, some of them, because they're she's highlighted in that one. So, Delilah, how you doing? Sliding in real quick to say, hey, thanks so much, Delilah. Good to see you. Your thoughts on the Secret Rare Obi-Wan Kenobi comic? I like it a lot. I really do. It has 1,500 editions, which hurts it right now at this moment. But it is, it, it's is—it's a brand new comic that came out literally on May the 4th. It was printed. So that, that is a new comic, like a brand new comic. So uh, I actually traded it out. I sold it, and I traded it for some of the other Secret Rares that have less editions at the moment. But I'll just go back. I'll be picking him back up later. It's just because of the edition sizes that are 1500 on it. So it's a little higher than others. So uh, I'm going to I'm gonna hold off on going back and getting that one at the moment. Because I did have it. Like I bought it and I held it for a bit. And I sold it for a little bit of a profit to go after some of the uh, the more you know scarcer secret rares. The 500 editions, right? But yeah, I think it's great. I really like it. I know some people don't like the art, but I love it. I think it's fantastic. And I will own it again very soon. No worries at all. I think the gold moments are still the most bullish. Yeah, man. Watch my vid from a couple days ago. I talk about utility on that. There's massive rumors behind the uh, partner statue for utility. And where there's smoke, there's fire, everybody. I've heard a lot of stuff from people who have heard a lot of stuff. You know? <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but you know. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, you're talking about amazing fantasy. Yeah, that's funny, right? It's all right, Sean. Yeah, I knew what you meant. I got to it. I was like, because number 15, I was like, what is Amazing Spider-Man 15? I don't remember what comic that is. Like, you know, but Amazing Fantasy, yeah. Your thoughts on Strange Tales 111? Dude, here's my thoughts on Strange Tales 111. Here's my thought right here. I got 35 commons and I'll be stacking more. And I got the uh, Secret Rare. Yeah, man. Second appearance. Okay. Everybody talks about the, this right here. Oh, it's the first appearance. This is what I think of Strange Tales 111. <laughs> okay this is what i think and i'll have more but right here let's go everyone talks about this right here this is the thing that i want to talk about the first appearance of baron mordo and everyone's like oh yeah okay well he's okay he's okay like here he is down here right but that's not how i look at this comic this is the second appearance of dr strange the second all right and that's how i look at this comic not the first appearance of baron that's cool it's good but Comic collectors go after second appearances as well. Second appearance of Spider-Man is a pretty massive comic. That's Spider-Man 1, right? So, like, I go after that too. So, And also, it's such a scarce comic. I mean, 
you know how much this comic goes for on eBay? It goes for a ton because it's very scarce. And check it out. Check this out. I got this one too. Strange Tales 112. <laughs> this comic's not worth a lot. Doctor Strange isn't in this comic or Baron Mordo, but it's a really fun comic. And I picked it up because I wanted to have all three. I wanted to have all three in a row, sort of, because it's the Human Torch on that cover too, doing really cool stuff. Anyway, I love that comic, man. I think it's great. Super steel right now too. How much is it going for? Five gems. I swept 35 off the floor at like three gems. I'm one of the people who boosted it to five gems, everybody. And I would recommend getting a few if you can. You know, you just sit on it, right? My collectible is going to be the first, uh, going to list the a Alpha Flight 1. Oh, at six, at six. Are you really? So everybody go check it out, Noel. Sorry if you, you that was um, half an hour ago. Sorry, I'm behind on the chat. But um, yeah, sir, I'm behind on the chat. You probably want to highlight that. If you want to do that next time, do like a super chat highlight so I see it because I'm, I didn't see that. And, you know, unless you're still holding off, then, you know, you'll know, right? But if I'm behind on the chat like this, if you want to do a giveaway, you know, I'm, I don't want to tell you to do that, but that's one way I would notice it because I, that was half an hour ago. So hopefully, hopefully someone saw that and picked it up. Let us know. Maximum Customs, Beta Ray Bill and the Mighty Collection. Hmm, I have a sense Beta Ray Bill will appear. Yeah, he will. He's coming. I don't know if it'll be in the Thor movie specifically, but he's coming, everybody. Guaranteed, right? Uh, Marvel Comics one, first Marvel comic, first VV comic dropped ever. Yeah, that's the other thing that in our particular space, it's the first uh, comic dropped. So it's like the Todd of comics. So that's the other thing, right? That's why it's big. It's big. There's no debate. What do you think about the Star Wars secret rare uh, one? Grail or not? Yeah, man, Abraham. It's a, it's a grail to me for sure. It's still up around 1,000, maybe 900. That shows that it's big. In this current climate, 825, someone's selling it for. Let's see if I can look at the listings here. Yeah, so people have started to put a few out there, right? People have put a few for sale. Uh, it was around, you know, like people are undercutting each other a little bit. But yeah, it's the first Star Wars secret rare comic that exists in the world. It's the only one. And I don't think we're going to get any more of this original run of Star Wars comics because none of them are really canon. And this is actually the adaptation of the movie, the first issue or two, right? So let me just uh, do that right there. So uh, this comic here is holding steady as like, I think the fifth or sixth Maybe the sixth most expensive common comic book is Star Wars 1 for a reason. And the secret rare, massive grail in my opinion. That's why I've got it. I'm holding on to that one for dear life. <laughs> hey, my collectibles, what do you think about the Ben Riley 118? Floor is getting scooped. I've got 10 of the ultra rare. Yeah, that's a really good comic too, man. I mean, there's so many good comics. And the thing about it is that these comics, right? So that's um, the web of Spider-Man. So let's go here. There it is right here. I want the secret rare. I like the secret. The see, look at the secret rare. It looks so pretty. I've wanted the secret rare for a long time and I will get it. Now, let me just go back and tell you a little bit of a story here. Okay. So I don't know if you guys, a lot of you probably did and thank you for watching it. But remember my video I did on the spider girl the spider girl comic book and how it's a future grail, you know, uh, and all it's, all it's going to take is her to show up. Now he, she's wearing Ben Riley's suit. Okay. Just so you know, in that comic book. Okay. So here's Ben Riley, his first appearance. Okay. So what he is, is a clone of Spider-Man and there's a couple of issues where he like, um, you know, um, uh, hold on a second. It's, it's a, what it, this is a, a couple issues. Here's the spider girl. Now this is why I'm talking about this. There's a couple issues where, um, he interacts with Spider-Man and all that. And then that's the issue. He comes back and he's like Peter Parker, right? But he, he, he's, he calls himself Ben Riley. He's a clone and there's a whole thing about him, but this comic book here is interesting uh, because she's wearing Ben Riley's suit. Now in this, what if now where she got the suit was up in her dad's attic and her dad is Peter Parker and Mary Jane. Now this is a what if comic. Okay. So the, what if is that, you know, it's older, like Peter Parker's older, Okay. And he's injured and he doesn't do Spider-Man anymore. He got injured by the green goblin. He actually got his leg really bad, badly injured in like a final battle. Anyway, their teenage daughter is her and she's like starting to show powers in high school. 
And then a goblin descendant comes up and wants to battle Spider-Man. And so Peter Parker goes to talk to him. And then she shows up to save her dad. And she goes to the attic and she grabs Ben Riley's suit, who is her uncle, right? So, I mean, they're all tied together. We're going to see Ben Riley at some point, guaranteed. We're going to see Spider-Girl some, some because why would they give us this comic, right? Now, this comic in particular, I'm talking about this one, is because if you watch the new Spider-Man movie, like the new one that just came out, you know, with all three Spider-Mans in it, no spoilers because it's been out for a while. If you haven't seen it, I'm sorry, you got to go watch it. But we got Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. We got Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. And by the way, in case you didn't know, Andrew Garfield literally yesterday, it was announced, he just signed a multi-year deal with the MCU so we're getting amazing Spider-Man again with Andrew Garfield. He's going to come back, probably make his third final movie of his trilogy. He's going to be mixed in because now they're doing it. And Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. Now look what happened in that movie. He battled the Goblin. He got super stabbed right through the gut badly. Very similar to what happened in this story. He's quite a bit older. Him and Mary Jane are married. They never mentioned their kid, but this is the perfect way to bring in Spider-Girl is right through the Tobey Maguire because he's now older. And maybe now that he took that, that stab wound through the gut, maybe he'll kind of step back from being Spider-Man a bit because, you know, he's older, right? And it's perfectly set up for Spider-Girl. So this is a future grail because she's going to be like, you know, in the MCU soon. And why would they give us this comic? This is what my mind thinks. So you, you do the same thing with the Young Avengers number one. You speculate into the future. It's all set up nicely. But she's wearing Ben Riley's suit here. So I just, you know, sorry I went on to a big tangent about it. But, you know, that goes back to your question about that comic. Very nice comic. Young Peter Parker is walking around, you know, like Tom Holland on his own. Now we're going to see him interact with the black cat guaranteed. She'll show up, you know, cause now he's on his own. He has no Mary Jane connection. You know, this is Tom Holland, the younger one, the, the MCU Spider-Man. We'll see him now, uh, you know, connect with her because there's a bit of a love interest thing that goes on with them, you know, the Kingpin and all that kind of stuff. And, um, He'll probably have, there'll be a clone thing that'll happen some point in the next five to 10 years. We'll see Ben Riley. I mean, it all makes sense, right? And then I think with the amazing Spider-Man, you know, with um, uh, Andrew Garfield, we'll see movies on him. And of course, I think the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man is going to like slowly retire now. And I think we'll see Spider-Girl there in that universe. So I just think it's all coming together, everybody. And it's super great. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is how my mind works. You can go back and watch that. Go back and watch that Spider Girl video if you want. I did it like a month and a half ago or more. And I just break down the story and how it connects to the movie. It makes, to me, it makes perfect sense, but we'll see. If you had the gems, Marvel Comics 1 Secret Rare or Spider Man Secret Rare Collectible. Oh, he nanu. <laughs> what are you trying to do to me, my friend? That is a, that, that is, oh man, that's a tough one. Wow. Marvel comic one secret rare or Spider-Man secret rare collectible. <laughs> oh, jeez! Oh my God. Look at this. Seriously. You're going to make me pick between those two. So this is, oh, oh look at this. Someone floored one for 20, 26,000. There you go. Anyone got 26,000? Look at the floor on that comic. You want to talk about a thin floor? So 26,000 on that one. And there's like what? 600 of them. Okay. Okay, that that's massive. Okay, and then let's go. And then Spider Man isn't Spider Man the same price? Isn't it? Isn't Secret Spider Man right now? Oh, it's no, Secret Spider Man is like seventeen, right? Where is he? Where is he? Really quick. Here we go. Here we. What? Where'd he go? Brands Spider Man. That's not Spider Man. That's Woody. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, here he is. Okay. What the heck? 18,000. Oh, goodness gracious me. I take Marvel Comics one. I do it. There's less of them. It's more expensive already. And so I, I would take that one. You know? If you had the gems. Yeah, I'd take Marvel Comics one. I'd secure that massive grail and just stash it away. As a collector, it pains me that I can't have Amazing Spider-Man book with the hammerhead. Yeah, well, you could. You could just go buy it. Where is it? Where is it? Just go buy it if you want it. 
<laughs> you could have it. We're Amazing Spider-Man. What is it? Uh, uh, let's just like, where is that? It's it's a weird one, right? We, nobody knows how many there are. There's 34 listed. Here he is. Yeah, you can go buy them right now for $14.50. There you go, Maximum Customs. You can have them. <laughs> I know what you mean, though. I know what you mean. Oh, weird one, right? I've been buying the Ultra Rares for under 30. Yeah, very nice. James, I know they're not super cheap, but what do you do? What do you think of common and uncommon Star Wars one comic as stacking option? Yeah, so start like okay, so the uncommon's the poster, right? And that one's beautiful. And I think the poster, the uncommon, takes a bit of a hit because we now we have posters. Now, when we first got that poster, I stacked up like 10 of them because it was the only poster of Star Wars we had. Now we actually have a poster collection series. So, and you can't put that comic on the wall yet. So I think it hurts the uncommon, even though I think it's beautiful and I love it as a comic book, I would stack the common because it's the only cover of Star Wars. And it's like, like I said, I showed you guys, I showed you guys right here. Okay. And the market doesn't lie. Okay. The market doesn't lie. It's right here. It's nicely nestled just around the same price as Daredevil 1 as a comic book. And it's above Journey into Mystery and Strange Tales 10 and Hit Monkey and Amazing Spider-Man 3 and 50. Amazing Spider-Man, uh, sorry, Star Wars number one is no joke, everybody. Okay, I know there's people out there that want to try to discount it. But no, it's the first Star Wars comic in the world. And that actually makes it like a Marvel Comics 1 scenario because it's attached to a massive fandom that is outside of comic books. That's what makes that Star Wars comic higher than just a comic. All right? Because it's the first Star Wars comic book in the world and the first secret rare. And that common cover is the only variation that actually has the original cover. So I would, I, I personally, out of the two, would go after the uh, common uh, because also it has lower mint, mint numbers than regular commons. So it's a very good one. Just my opinion. You can take it or leave it. Just my opinion. <laughs> you asked, I said. That's what I was saying. You know, this comic right here, very strange. Very strange, that comic, everybody. <laughs> Anyone interested in the Italian dinosaur poster? Yeah, that one's also another weird one. Like that comic book that we just showed, the Hammerhead one. Nobody really knows how many are available, right? Is Ben Riley uh, Spider Man's secret rare grail? I don't think it's grail level. They have to do something with it. I think it could become that way. I just think it's a really good secret rare, Ben. Uh, she Hulk number one comic probably dropping soon. Disney show, Disney Plus show on the way. Yeah, the She Hulk number one with her first appearance where she's all standing tall. That's a really cool comic. I hope so. That's a good comic, too. Very nice. The show's going to drop some point. We don't know the date yet. Your NFT tracker calculates MCP points. Yeah, there you go, Riz. You can do that too. That's great. Keep track is all I'm saying. However you want to do it, that's an easy way to do it. MD, got a secret, a second prize for 329. Didn't even know about any utility that, what did you mean by that? I'm only hoping they can change the license back. Yeah, so there's talk. They're talking about they're bringing utility to the pride stuff, right? So I don't know a lot about it. So there's a couple of people who made videos on it. Just go and search on YouTube. A couple of YouTubers made videos. I don't know who exactly. I can't remember, but they made videos on the utility of the prides because, uh, you know, Amar Singh and the rest of them, they're, they're trying to bring utility to the, to the Givenchy stuff. So I don't know what that means though. Uh, something to do with museums, maybe museums apparently want those items. Maybe you can rent them out for a day to get a pass into a museum. I have no idea, but they, yeah, they're going to have utility. Apparently I'm waiting for a 50 to, for Odin to $50. You don't want to FOMO, but it looks cool. Yeah, you could wait a bit, Zombie Attack News. He's in the app forever now, so we'll see what happens, right? You can't help but love my collectibles. Hit the, oh, thank you so much, Bob Sales. And everybody, like I said, go check out Bob Sales' YouTube channel. You got to love it. You're super nice, man. I appreciate you. <laughs> Your opinion of Amazing Spider-Man 101. Yeah, first appearance, Morbius, awesome comic, man. It's a really expensive comic, by the way, in the real world. Uh, you know, super, super, like it's just people just don't know, right? So it's a great comic to stack. I had stacks of uncommons, tons of them. And then I got into the secret rare with that. Comics versus collectibles. What are you stacking? Well, I'm personally Marvin. I'm stacking comics like crazy right now. I just think the dollar cost average and the ratio of how much some of these are worth compared to the collectibles to me is like better for stacking just personally. 
uh, at this moment, right? Now, things change over time. Like if you see like Loki, he's great to stack right now if you can, in my personal opinion. But I'm going after like some of these newer grails still. Like, I mean, like, like you know, uh, Avengers 4 is still 14 gems, 13 gems. You know, like that's that's so much better to me than like a $20 Loki um, or 20 gem Loki at the moment. Just just me, right? Um, same thing about like some of these other newer grails and some of the comics we'll get to. I just think that the price on them for stacking is way more like is way better for where they could get in the future, especially with Comic-Con coming, you know? Yeah, thanks. Hit the like if you guys like smash that like. I know I'm uh, a bit behind on the chat here, everybody. There we go. Yeah, you won't sell, hey? Yeah, I know. Ultra rare is the gray zone. I know, right? <laughs> oh, uh, Maximum Customs, do you have gems ready for possible Thor FA and Spidey FA this month? Do you think it's a sellout quickly? Yeah, both those comic books, man. Both of them. I'll show them right here. I already got them set up for you. Right here. Woo! <laughs> this is going to be nice. Now, I'm not doing what people have done in the past. I am not selling my stuff to get these. I'm not liquidating things because the stuff that I'm going after is not liquidatable. I'll shave a few off the top. Like if I have like 50 of a comic, I'll shave one or two off the top sometimes just to go after a drop, right? Just to replenish a bit of gems. But I'm not liquefying anything for these. I'm just going to, I'll put money in for these. Like I'm, I'm selling physical collectibles to go after these. Like I am not going to, I am not going to like hurt my current collection to go after these books. I'm just going to add these to my collection. To me, it's not one or the other. It's me with, with my collection that I have with these added on top. How great is that going to be? Yeah. So I'm going after these hard. If they come, we don't know if they're going to come. We're all guessing. I'm guessing. I'm not saying these are coming. These might never come. And that would suck if they didn't, <laughs> you know? The most underrated rarity in BB, it's probably the ultra rare on the comics. I mean, we're right. There's only a thousand of them and some of them only have 500. Yeah, 2,500. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. What's that? VE sucks. What does that mean? What is that? Is that, is that, are you trying to say VV sucks? If you're trying to say VV sucks, I would say this to you. Your spelling sucks. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right? Is that is that a fud? Is that a fud everybody? Is that a fud with with bad spelling? Come on now. If you're going to fud in here, do it right. Spell. Spell check. Unless you unless you this is some sort of other message that I do not understand. <laughs> Darth later. <laughs> are there more mc1 secret rares 600 yeah there's like there's 600 of them the the, the journey into mystery uh, uh loki has 500 but we can only really get our hands on uh about 500 of these secret rares remember that remember that right in your not financial advice what comics would you recommend stacking with 200 gems like i watched my couple last videos man just go back i'll tell you the ones that i'm doing you can do whatever you want but just watch, I did literally a comic book stacking video from like three days ago. Just go watch that Riz if you want, you know, and uh, it, it talks all about the ones that I'm looking at and why. And I give you the prices on them at the time. That's four days ago. So some of the prices have gone up since then, but those are the ones I would go after. And uh, pretty, you know, if you want to watch it and then you can make your own choice, right? You know, let me know if there's ones you think too. How much for that physical Spider-Man, uh, the value... How much for that physical Spider-Man? What's the value, my favorite positive person? Which, oh, oh, the um, the comic book back here, the 252? This, this comic book here? Uh, I don't know. Um, I can't remember at the moment. Three, four hundred bucks or so? You know? It's a nice key issue, that's for sure. It's nice. Graded, it goes much higher. What are we stacking? <laughs> oh, I'm stacking comics like crazy. We'll see what comes this week, right? We'll see what comes. Already an Omi millionaire? No, I'm ha I'm a half a millionaire in Omi. And I'm giving Omi away every day on these streams on Saturday. So you want to join up for that. Not financial advice. Yeah. <laughs> I like, you know, is Strange Tales 180 a good one? Strange, uh, Strange Tales 180, a good one. I think any of those Silver Age comics are great, you guys. Today's a happy day. Sold Amazing Spider-Man 3 and bought Black Knight Secret Rare. Always wanted them. 
Hopefully this plays out well. Yeah, man, that Black Knight comic is cool. That comic is cool, everybody. I like that comic quite a bit. Where is it? The Black Knight. Let's check it out, everybody. Go to comics. That's the Avenger comic. Very nice comic. Where is it right here? I think it's 47, isn't it? Where is it right here? Did I pass it? Is it a... a yeah, here it is right here. Yeah, this is a nice comic, everybody. Going for 200. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, and he's at the end of the Eternals. So like I said, he's going to be in movies coming up. They showed him. He's already here. <laughs> Captain America annual is only a few amounts for sale. Yeah, that one's that really scarce one with the Wolverine. That's got the low mint numbers. Very scare. I mean, the low uh, print size. Very scare. Not print, but, you know, mint size. That Spider-Man Secret Rare you bought was 240 two weeks ago, even back even during the dip. And it went down this week weirdly. Definitely a good buy. Yeah, that's okay. I'm keeping all those Spider-Man Secret Rares the, like from the five. I have all five that came out. I have all five of the Craven ones. I'm keeping them. I actually have three of Spider-Man 2. This one to me is really funny to me. I love it. I absolutely love this. And I'll probably pick up more. I don't mind if this price stays down a bit, guys. It's totally cool. I got Spider-Man 2. He's at 97. I paid it paid like 99 or 100 for each one of these. And I have three of these. This is to me the most like the second most beautiful Spider-Man cover on the app in terms of a secret rare, uh, aside from Spider-Man 1. Like there's the Spider-Man 1 secret rare that I own right there, right? There's the Spider-Man 3. I uh, Spider-Man 2. I love it. I also like these two, number four, number three, number four, number five. I have all of those, of course. You know, I got the the Jubilee right here. She's cool too. I mean, it's all good, right? They're all secret rares, you know? They're all secret rares. Spider Girl's your biggest stack. Yeah, Laura. Like, like I said, comics become grails. Okay. And that 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 Spider Girl comic came out of like 1999. And then um they she had her own comic book series. Uh, right after that with the same cover on spider girl number one i think and um that that ran for a couple years and it was pretty successful you know and so there's a lot of potential with her and like it fits in with the whole young avengers thing and all this new young youth movement they're going after she's a teenager in that story and she go you know, peter parker who's her dad he's much older there's toby Maguire, right the original spider-man from these movies um that it makes perfect sense to me he just got stabbed by the goblin if you read the comic book he he's injured from a goblin fight. Like he loses part of his leg, Peter Parker, like a while ago. And now he's, he, you know, his daughter is like starting to show some powers and on the basketball court and stuff. It's a really cool comic. So I made a whole video about it. Of course, your thoughts on the airdrop of Buzz Lightyear. Oh, very cool. Yeah. That's a cool thing too. Same thing. You know, like I don't get any of those. My thoughts are, here's my thoughts on that. You know, some Canadian companies need to start doing some business with Vivi so I can get some drops. <laughs> I get some airdrops because I, I can't get participate in those. Crypto King, you know that Tarzan Secret Rare is only 207 minted and the lowest on Vivi's 400. I know, Tarzan. I thought about getting that Tarzan comic too. It's actually pretty cool. Check it out. You know, the more I look at, I don't own any of these Tarzan comics, right? But the more I look at them, the more I'm kind of liking them a bit. You know, they have that old school, like, you know, pulp fiction sort of cover. Look at that 400. Yeah, there's only 207. I mean, this is as scarce as you get for a comic book. It's crazy, right? It's crazy. I don't own any of these Tarzans at all. I should probably look at that. The $4 comic details. Okay, there is uh, 8,000 commons only. 8,000. And the thing's going for four bucks. <laughs> I'm not saying you should buy Tarzan or anything. I don't know. But that secret rare Crypto King, you are so right. You have a bunch of ultra rares. We'll stack more. Yeah, the, the app, no, no doubt, man. Thanks for sharing your knowledge on Ben Riley, Spider-Man, and Spider-Man. Exciting stuff. It could be, William, right? It could be, right? This is just my guess. Well, so like I said, if you really want to know what I really, I really break it down in that video I did like a month ago or whatever. The Spider Girl one, and Spider Girl is the future Grail, and I can make the exact same video today about Avenger, the new Avengers comic uh, that just came out, the Young Avengers. I can make the exact same video, you know, but I don't need to because people are people. They figure it out. They know, right? They know that this is probably going to happen. They're, we're going to get them. The only thing is, is that people outside of VV don't know. 
Because remember, that comic came in 2005, okay? It's not a new comic. It's not brand new. Where is it? This comic, like we said, this is not a brand new comic, okay? This is 2005, so that's like 17 years old. So this comic's been around for a bit, like for a while now. And they're dropping it in VV now? You know something's happening. So anyone who's got this comic in the real world has been holding on to that one like a champion for years, like literally years, you guys, like years. How long has VV even been in existence? Like two years at the most? Year and a half, two years? People would hold that comic came out in 05. So you know stuff's happening. So I can make a whole video about Young Avengers is a future grail, you know? But you can see in the market that people already know. So I'm, I don't need to make a video about that. Totally agree all, all about Spider-Girl. Can't wait to see the cast for Peter Parker and MJ's daughter. Well, for Peter Parker, it would just be Tobey Maguire. And for MJ, it would be, you know, um, uh, you know, from the original movie series. What's her name? Um, I really like her as an actor, too. Um, somebody help me out. Anyway, uh, yeah, for the daughter, who knows? But this is great evidence because here's another little bit of evidence for you because Andrew Garfield just got re-signed by the MCU. Andrew Garfield, the amazing Spider-Man, right? Andrew Garfield? Because he was just in that movie with all three of them. He just got signed to do a bunch more movies. Don't you think they're going to be talking to Tobey Maguire about doing a few more things now too? And Spider-Girl, that story fits him exactly. It is, it is actually eerily like coincidental that the goblin stabbed him through the, through the stomach in that movie that we just saw. And he's old because he go read that comic. So, you know, that's why people still have, that's why the secret is still 170 to 180 on that spider girl comic, because you know, people, people know, right. That people are like, okay, well, they're just waiting. Just wait. It's all good. You secure a secret rare there, uh, you know, and you just put it away. And then when she comes out and, you know, she, they make her really cool or not, or I don't know, right? We'll see what happens, right? How important is Silver Surfer Black? Uh, it depends. It depends, right? It depends on what they do with the Silver Surfer. The, the secret rare on that has um, has Null, okay? So Null's like the, the, the guy who made the symbiotes or whatever. And his sword is with uh, <laughs> Gore, the God Butcher, right? You know, in the new uh, Thor movie, like that's, he's got the sword, that it came from uh, the guy on the secret rare cover of you, just Google up a, a silver surfer black and just, just read all about that storyline. It's not that important yet, but you know, all this stuff is could be important, right? Mohammed, I hope you're well. I feel like I, we should make some, uh, I should make some changes. I have four golden moments, Wally pizza truck, Timon and lady in the tramp. Do you think I should sell them all and save up for a grail? I'm not sure Mohammed. I would, before I would sell anything, I would always have a target and a reason. So, you know, check out what's in the app, watch other videos, get on Twitter, talk to people, see what people are interested in, look ahead, and then make your choices that way, right? Um, I can't really tell you, but you can watch some of my vids and I tell you what I'm, what I'm thinking about what I'm doing, right? But the golden moments are great. Like you have the Wall-E and the pizza truck. That's a nice set right there. That's, a, that's the Pixar set, right? So, you know, I would probably keep that set personally. The Timon and Puba and Lady and the Tramp, people people will like them in the future for sure. But you might be able to flip those into like maybe uh, uh, maybe you go into you, maybe you get um, another golden moment like like Winnie the Pooh or something, or or maybe you take those gems and you diversify a bit and stack up a bunch of Lokis and then and then flip those later or I don't know, right? There's lots of options for you. So just 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 get more into it and you know you can see right. The movie hurt the Morbius comics. Yeah, I don't know. It may have a bit. We'll see, right? Is there a comic drop on the 4th? Maybe something Captain America? Yeah, that would be cool, right? We'll see. That would be cool, actually. Listing FA Lokis are going down fast. People are stacking them. Around 80 listings are gone today. Oh, really? Let's check it out. He's got 340 listed. I haven't noticed the listings go down today. He would have had to have been over 400, and I think he was around... 300 and something last night, wasn't he? I don't know. But yeah, I would. <laughs> I bought one. <laughs> I bought one an hour ago on the stream. Common versus uncommon. OG cover or scarcity. Depends on the comic to me and depends on the price point, uh, Adam. I like the common. 
uh, you know, for just the beautiful cover. It depends on the on the cover, though. Like, for example, Sp Star Wars, common, right? Um, you know, <laughs> then you get like uh, this comic here, Carnage, right? The Carnage one. You know, you can't really stack the uncommon because it has that beautiful cover and it's more valuable. So you stack this one, right? Because it's the only one. So if you take a comic, if you take a comic in the app, in my opinion, that has a an original cover and there's no other variations of that cover, I would stack the common. Uh, if you want to go master collector, you know, stack the uncommons for sure if they're the same price. <laughs> same here. I have um, money sitting in the sidelines just in case. Yeah, so same here, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm not selling my stuff to go after those comics if they come. I'm going to just go after them. If Amazing Fantasy or Journey of Mystery is dropping next week, what do you expect to be released instead? Yeah, good question, Scotty. I have absolutely no idea. Um, more really great comics. We'll see what they... We could get more than just those two comics, by the way. We could get like Wolverine's first appearance, like Hulk 181. We could, we're going to get some big comics during the Comic-Con. Or leading up to it, because they want to have this. They want to expose. They want to expose the app, right? Um, I'm not going to say Pokemon either, because I don't know. <laughs> Could you imagine that? Once it's all in place, mid July, and the app is fully armed and operational, then there's licensors who are probably waiting for KYC to go through before they actually drop their stuff here. So, man, we are in for some fun coming up. How long do we see Batman or Super com uh, Man comic? I don't know. I hope we get those J Blaze. I really do. You know, let's just jump ahead just really quick. Clever Jerk, you're in the moon, member of the channel. Thanks so much for joining, my friend. That's great. So you can DM me on Twitter or Instagram, and uh, I'll get you your Drophead NFT, the free one you get for being a member. And then you can also I'll give you the Discord link and you can get involved. But thanks for joining, man. I really appreciate you. Maximum Customs, Captain America FA in Avengers is also the past, but still costs more than the con FA. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You like the Morbius film? I haven't seen it, Bob Sales. I'm going to have to watch it. It's just that the Thanos FA is extremely underrated as of right now for some reason. Yeah, the Thanos FA is huge. That comic is a massive comic, you know, in the real world. I have, I have like 60 of those. <laughs> I'm just, you know, like I'll get more too. Clever Jerk, keep up the good work. Been here a fan for a while and keep, and, and keep Grogu content coming. Yeah, Grogu, well, you know, he's helping me out. Grogu helps me with my uh, decisions. He's, he's you know, affects me using he mind tricks, right? You know, that guy back there. <laughs> yeah, the Morbius movie. I never saw it yet. I'll have to see it, right? Oh, man. So we got to the end of the chat, everybody. So I'm going to let you go. Have yourself an awesome Saturday, okay? It's really great to hang out with you guys on the side. I really appreciate you guys coming. And, you know, like I said, uh, if you go back and watch the beginning of the stream, we got those rewards programs for Dropheads owners. And by the way, just before I say it, I don't mind plugging this myself. There's only two T-shirts left, okay, of the Dropheads, right? There's only two. And they're up on eBay. The link is in the description of the video to my eBay shop. It's just easier there. I was doing them through Discord and, and like, like I said, but I just put them up on eBay. There's only two left now. If I if those two sell, then I can actually I'm going to do another run of different drop head shirts, right? So anyway, if you want one of these bad boys, hit eBay and you can grab. There's only two left, so you know someone's going to get them. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you guys have an awesome day today. I will see you again in the next video. I'll see you in another live stream soon. I won't wait a whole week this time. I might do one tomorrow or maybe on Monday, but it is a holiday weekend, so I'll probably be with my family a lot you know, doing some fun stuff. I hope you guys have a safe and awesome holiday weekend as well. Go out, have some fun. July the 4th, if you're American. July 1st, just yesterday, if you're Canadian. And anyone else from around the world, I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. You know, enjoy it, right? You know, have some fun. And we'll see what comes up this weekend, right? But keep your eyes on the market. Because as we get closer to that Comic-Con, you know, these comics are going to be drying up. These secret rares. That's what I'm doing. My focus is, I've been very clear about what my focus is. And uh, you guys just do what you're going to do. If you got a great strategy, you know, like stick with it, do well. And uh, always make a plan before you start selling stuff, in my opinion. All right. <laughs> and always check your mint numbers just in case. Thanks, Chris, for that. You know who you are. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next stream. Thanks so much for coming. Have a great weekend. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>